Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. One Piece. Becoming Stronger and Bigger by Becoming a Seven Warlord of the Sea. Chapter 41. Lower the Bounty. What's the reason? Sengoku slowly put down the Den Den Mushi in his hand, and recalled the order of the five elders just now. He didn't understand it, because even he didn't know the meaning of, D. The, D, clan, a group known as the natural enemy of God in the pirate world, hides all over the world and has not appeared for many years. The recent appearance seems to have come into people's sight again since Roger became the pirate king. The name of the pirate king Galdi. Roger has also been spreading wildly since then, and has become famous all over the world. D, is an invisible and intangible inheritance of will, representing dreams, destiny or dawn, etc. Every member of the, D, clan lives in the world with a certain mission. Sengoku thought for a while, and finally issued a bounty order according to the instructions of the five elders. The captain of the Smiling Pirates, Monkey D. Shatian, has a bounty of 500 million berries. Pet Tuantuan has a thousand berries. The Natural Thunder Fruit Ability User, Thunder God Enelu, has a bounty of 200 million berries. The bounty of the suspected animal type Mythical Beast Devil Fruit User, the Demon Akin, is 170 million berries. As for Norant, Pak and Kalina, the bounties are still the same, because this battle mainly depends on Sha Tien and the other two. On Yinyan Island, everyone waved goodbye to Kalina with reluctance, and many people even cried. After all, after watching the child grow up for so many years, they raised him as their own children, just like relatives. It was still very uncomfortable for everyone to leave at once. Everyone, go back. Kalina's face returned to her lively and lovely side, and she waved her arms happily to say goodbye to everyone. According to the agreement, Kalina officially joined the Smile Pirates. The smile began to gradually speed up, because Kalina said that the genius sniper was hunting on a small island not far away. Sha Tien was very happy because he wanted the Smile Pirates to become the most balanced pirate group in the pirate world, the hexagonal team in the pirate world, and even far surpass the Red Hair Pirates. Three hours later, the smile finally landed. What caught my eyes were the lush forests and towering mountains. The sea water slapped the coast, one wave higher than the other. We're here. This is the famous hunting island in the nearby sea. This island is full of terrifying and ferocious beasts. If I hadn't been with you, I wouldn't dare to come here at all. Kalina patted her chest, causing a wave of excitement. Her little face flushed with excitement, because she wanted to see it a long time ago. Enelu, how is it? Not challenging, they are too weak in my opinion. Most of them are the same combat power as Pak, about a thousand heads. Enelu flew high into the sky, lightning arcs appeared all over his body, and the observation hockey covered the entire island. After observing for a while, he made a conclusion. Pak, are you polite? Well, let's go. Go meet this genius sniper. After Sha Tien finished speaking, he raised his head slightly, his eyes fixed on the top of a high mountain in front of him, and the corners of his mouth slightly raised. Yilin, a white-haired boy who was observing with a sniper rifle on the top of a distant mountain, saw Sha Tien's expression, and couldn't help trembling in his heart, thinking that he would not be discovered. Then he shook his head and threw away this unrealistic idea. The distance was 1,000 meters, and even if he used a scope, he could only see it. It was impossible for ordinary people to discover him. Roar. Sha Tien and others walked towards the center of the island. Suddenly, a beast appeared in front of them and blocked their way. It was a bear, a black bear as big as a hill. It opened its bloody mouth and wanted to swallow it in one bite, but it didn't know that it had found the wrong target. The huge bear paw slapped Enelu. If an ordinary person was hit, he would be turned into a meat pie. 30 million volts, Thunder Bear King. Enelu frowned and was very angry. What did the bear in front of him mean? Did he think he was weak? He actually troubled himself first. Gently tapping a small drum behind him, a thunder bear-like Lei Ting appeared in front of everyone, also waving his claws forward and slapping them. When the two came into contact, the originally majestic black bear opened his mouth to the sky, accompanied by a crackling sound, wisps of white smoke came out of his huge body, and then fell heavily to the ground, stirring up a puff of smoke and dust, and the air around him smelled of delicious barbecue. It looks delicious. The wind mantis, wolf pack, man-eating ants, devil frogs, etc., 
the guys who were originally majestic on this island, were now lying on the ground, and were cured by Enel's electric therapy. They had no life, and they were obviously solved by Sha Tien and others. The journey was very smooth, and the sniper Yi Lin who was observing in the dark was also secretly shocked. Are these guys all monsters? Because even if he was on this island, he would not dare to swagger around. Walk in a straight line. Karina, is it the mountain ahead? Sha Tien looked up at the towering mountain ahead and asked. Yeah, Aline once told me that except for going out hunting, he usually stays on this highest peak. It seems that the mountain is a safe area on this island, and basically no beasts go up there. What a tall mountain, I can't see the top at a glance. Tuantuan raised his little paw to look at it, and an excited smile appeared on his round face. It had never climbed such a high mountain. Sure enough, it was so interesting to go out to sea for adventure. Let's go. Marinford, Carp left the marshal's office, his playful face returned to normal, and his wrinkled face had an indescribable feeling. He turned around and looked at the flying flags of the navy, and looked at the word justice around him, and sighed. Arrived at the bay, boarded a battleship with a dog head logo, and went out to sea. Garp. Sengoku, who had just finished a meeting on the high building, saw Garp setting sail and muttered to himself, his face a little complicated. After all, pirates and the navy are enemies. It must be really uncomfortable for a grandson to have different ideals and different paths from his grandfather. Ooh, over the endless sea, flocks of seagulls fly freely, and the freshly baked newspapers in the small satchels under them float to various islands and towns. The bounty order of the Smile Pirates was distributed again, which aroused many people's discussion. After all, they were in the limelight during this period in the summer, and each action was shocking to the world. Moreover, under the exaggeration of Morgans, the Smile Pirates were in the limelight. Even many guys were waiting for the moment when the Smile Pirates entered the New World. In the summer, the group had already reached the top of the mountain. For the Smile Pirates who possessed the natural devil thunder fruit and the mythical beast ghost car fruit, it was just a simple climb up the mountain. Huh. No one. Looking at the bulging tent in front of him, Tuantuan scratched his head. At this time, Kalina suddenly smiled mysteriously took out a whistle from her broad mind, and then put it in her rosy little mouth and blew it hard. Swish, swish. The clear and melodious whistle sounded, and the sound penetrated the entire forest around. Suddenly, there was a burst of chaos in the woods, the roar of beasts and the running of beasts continued to sound, and the woods were full of dust. A burst of wind came, and a handsome boy riding a big bird appeared in front of everyone with a big sniper and jumped to the ground. Yi Lin stopped about 100 meters away from Sha Tien and his group, and kept looking at them. Hi, Yi Lin, long time no see. Kalina saw the familiar figure, her face was happy, raised her jade hand, and greeted happily. Well, long time no see, Kalina has become more beautiful. Yi Lin's handsome face showed a happy smile, and it was obvious that the two had a good relationship. Captain Sha Tien, this is the person I want to introduce, bounty hunter Nicholas Yi Lin, a very powerful sniper, Kalina introduced to Sha Tien. Yi Lin, this is my captain, a pirate with a bounty of 300 million berries. At this time, the members of the Smile Pirates did not know that their bounties had increased again. Kalina introduced them according to the previous bounty amount, but despite this, Yi Lin was still shocked. Looking at Sha Tien, who was about the same age as him, Yi Lin clenched the sniper rifle in his hand, his black eyes flashing, and relaxed after a moment. 300 million berries, this bounty was the highest bounty Yi Lin had ever seen. As for other long famous pirates, they had only heard of them in legends. No wonder these guys were so powerful and terrifying, and such a bounty was reasonable. 300 million bounty. How strong is it? Yi Lin's mouth twisted, as if he wanted to try it out. What? Try. Sha Tien smiled and took a step forward slowly. The domineering aura swept the whole place. A terrifying pressure burst out from Sha Tien, and the target was the boy in front of him. I heard from Kalina that the boy in front of him had a big dream, to become the world's number one sniper. You know, the number one is not something you can just do if you want to be one. Only those with strong ambitions, except for those who dream, have a competitive heart and strive to be the strongest, and are likely to have the potential of the domineering aura. What's going on? My body can't help but tremble. I don't even have the thought of resisting. 
The sudden silent attack made Yilin's body sink, as if there was a great terror. He raised his head and looked at Sha Tien with all his strength. A looming scene like a red sea of blood emerged, and he couldn't help but marvel in his heart. This is the pirate who was rewarded 300 million berries by the world government and the navy. The giant eagle that was originally majestic and staring at Sha Tien with a fierce look, like a gerfalcon, trembled the next moment after the domineering aura burst out, and its deep eagle eyes showed fear. It staggered back two steps, and fell to the ground after a few seconds. The surrounding dust was flying, and it was head down, buttocks were raised, and rolled its eyes and passed out. Not bad. The domineering aura disappeared, and Sha Tien looked at Yi Lin who had forced himself not to faint and admired him. Although his domineering aura was not as terrifying as red hair shanks, it was not something that ordinary people could hold on to, which showed that this guy in front of him had some potential. Hey, Xiao Qing, are you okay? Wake up. Seeing the giant eagle fainted, Yi Lin hurried over to shake its body. Don't worry, I just fainted. Really? Of course. Hey, Yi Lin, come to my ship and be my sniper. Let's go into the new world and make a fuss together. Sha Tien stretched out his hand and invited with a smile on his face. This. Invite me. Of course, I came here for you this time, because Kalina said you have a strong sniping talent. I think you are qualified to be my crew member after the experiment just now. Huh, okay, I agree. But I want to learn your move just now, it's so cool. Yi Lin lowered his head and thought for a moment, then happily accepted the invitation. Sha Tien and their strength made Yi Lin's eyes hot. If he wants to become the strongest sniper, he must be strong not only in sniping, but also in other aspects. No problem, but the premise is that you can learn it. The qualifications of the conqueror's hockey are not something that everyone can have, only one person in a million people, Sha Tien explained. Ah, really or not? Yi Lin was shocked. No wonder that move was so cool. Ha ha ha, but even if you don't have conqueror hockey, you can still learn ordinary hockey. There are two types of hockey, observation hockey and armament hockey. Ah ba ah ba. Sha Tien started teaching hockey again, and Yi Lin listened very carefully. Really, especially after learning that hockey can contact the devil fruit ability user, I studied harder. Sha Tien told Yi Lin that the top strong men in the world all rely on hockey to reach the top, and the devil fruit is just a supplement, although it is an insurmountable height for ordinary people. After recruiting suitable crew members and killing some beasts on the island as food supplements, the smile set sail again, aiming for the new world. After going to the new world, as a tradition, Sha Tien plans to visit Shanks first. After all, as Luffy's brother, he needs to thank this guy who led Luffy into the Wrong path, the future four emperors red hair shanks who looks down on the new world. Speaking of which, it is now the end of the 1515th year of the sea circle calendar, and it is not far from red hair becoming the four emperors. By then, the navy, the world government, the four emperors and the seven warlords will form a certain balance with each other, and control and maintain the world relatively stably. It seems that it is time to seek the position of Shichibukai. Now that Shatian has defeated Crocodile and Gecko Mariah, two Shichibukai, two positions are vacant, and everything is promising. As a pirate recognized by the world government, Shichibukai can do many things very conveniently. On the Grand Line, a doghead marked Navy battleship is speeding towards Shatian. Garp has returned to his original state and is now dozing off while eating donuts at the bow. On the rear deck, a middle-aged man wearing an eye mask is lying on a recliner at this moment occasionally lifting the eye mask to yawn and look up at the sky. Admiral, are you really okay here? A Navy soldier said helplessly. As a confidant on Garp's battleship, they all know that this voyage is a meeting between the grandfather of the Navy and the grandson of the pirate, and it is likely to stage a scene of, grandfather and grandson filial piety. Ah, don't worry, don't worry about me, I'm just here for vacation, Aokiji waved his hand, looking lazy. Pop. A snot bubble burst, Garp rubbed his eyes, turned around and looked at Aokiji, without saying a word. On the Grand Line, the Smile Pirates open air rest area. Devil fruit. For me. Kalina covered her rosy little mouth, her face full of surprise, her beautiful eyes looking at the strange devil fruit growing on the table, she couldn't believe it. 
Well, of course, as a member of the Smile Pirates, you can't be too weak, Sha Tien said lightly, this devil fruit is very suitable for Kalina. The animal type mythical beast bird bird fruit blue phoenix form, according to the basic introduction of the system, can transform into the blue phoenix bird, in addition to being able to fly, it can also use its own abilities through singing, and Kalina was later called the mysterious song girl, so her singing ability is naturally needless to say, and she can definitely use her full strength. Ahem, it's so unpalatable degree degree. After taking a bite, Kalina's face wrinkled into a bun, but she thought that eating it would make her super strong, so she made up her mind, closed her eyes, and ate it one bite after another. After all, ordinary people couldn't get devil fruits at all. Soon the devil fruit was destroyed and entered Kalina's stomach. How is it? Kalina, do you feel it? Yilin asked anxiously. He didn't expect to see a devil fruit just after getting on the boat. You know, a devil fruit at the auction outside starts at at least 100 million berries. Well, I'll try it. Kalina heard Yilin's question and the curious expressions of others around her, and closed her eyes to try to use the power of the devil fruit. Soon, a pair of sky blue wings appeared from the side. In addition, Kalina's body appeared with faint flames, as if there was no temperature, but everyone felt a tremor from the soul, as if something terrible would happen if touched. A power from the devil fruit. Sha Tien looked at Kalina again, and all the powers of the devil fruit after being eaten were displayed on the system panel. In addition to basic flight and claw attacks, the blue luan form of the bird bird fruit of the animal department has two special abilities, one is charm. Under the blessing of the blue luan form, the enemy is charmed and controlled through singing, which is similar to the ability of the pirate queen Hancock's fruit to a certain extent. The second is the blue luan divine fire, it can heal partners within the singing range, and can also burn enemies within the singing range. As for whether it has other abilities, it has not been reflected yet, and perhaps Kalina will need to develop them later. Ha 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 ha. I can fly. One after another, Kalina excitedly flapped her wings faster and faster, and soon spread her wings and flew into the sky, higher and higher. In the end, there was only a small black dot in sight, and a clear and beautiful laughter like a bell came from above. What's wrong? Are you envious? Tuantuan's eyes rolled around, a gleam of brilliance flashed, and he came to Yilin unconsciously and asked in a low voice. Of course, this is a devil fruit. Yilin nodded, looking at Kalina in the sky, his face full of envy. Do you want it? Yeah. Hee hee, this is easy, if you perform well, the boss will give it to you in a while. Is it possible? Yilin was shocked when he heard Tuantuan's words. It seemed that Sha Tien actually had a devil fruit. You know, this is not an ordinary fruit, but a secret treasure of the sea that can give people terrifying energy. That's right, follow the vice captain and perform well in the future, and the boss will never treat you badly, Tuantuan patted his chubby chest and said confidently. Yeah, Yilin nodded fiercely like a chicken pecking at rice. It was also during this brief exchange that Yilin regarded Tuantuan as a close friend. The two became good friends who regretted not meeting each other earlier, and they often hung out together in the following days. Tuantuan taught Yilin how to be domineering, and Yilin taught Tuantuan how to use firearms. All of this was naturally in Sha Tien's eyes. As for whether to give Yilin the devil fruit, it would take some time to observe. After all, compared to the terrifying supreme strength, Sha Tien needed a loyal and brave partner who would never betray him. In the first half of the Grand Line, in a corner of the Kingdom of Alabasta, Crocodile, who was abolished as one of the seven warlords of the sea, was holding a cigar in his mouth. Looking at the bounty in his hand, his face became gloomy, and yellow sand came out of his body and directly swallowed and destroyed all the bounty orders of the smiling pirates. Monkey D. Sha Tien. We will meet again if we are destined to. Crocodile exhaled a puff of smoke looked in the direction of the capital of Alabasta, and slowly stood up. It is never too late for a gentleman to take revenge. Now he has more important things to do, which is the information about the ancient weapon Pluto. The magic weapon that can destroy an island with one shot is in this country. Notify all the personnel of Baroque works to infiltrate the kingdom. I want to obtain all the confidential information of this kingdom. Understood, President. The unlucky duo echoed in unison, and then flew into the sky to deliver the message. New World, Moby Dick. Tun tun tun. The strongest man in the world, Whitebeard Newgate, 
drank wine in big gulps. Gulala. I didn't expect that the kid on Roger's ship would grow to this level now. It's really interesting, continuing to drink a sip of wine, Whitebeard looked up at the sky, as if recalling the past, with a tone of loneliness and surprise. Yes, Dad, the outside world now has rumors that the Red Hair Pirates have the strength and power to keep pace with our Whitebeard Pirates, Big M-O-O-M Pirates, and Beasts Pirates. Many people privately began to call our four pirate groups the Four Emperors Pirates. Dad is also called the Four Emperors. A man with a pineapple-shaped head flashed from one side. Yes, it was the captain of the first team, Phoenix Marco, who said with a serious face at this time. Four Emperors. Gulala. Is there any action from the Navy? Whitebeard laughed, obviously not caring about this title. In his heart, as long as his family and sons are fine, nothing else matters. No action, it seems to be tacitly agreed. Oh. In addition to the Red Hair Pirates, there is a new pirate group that is currently in the limelight on the Grand Line. It has defeated two Shichabukai and hijacked the Celestial Dragon's Tenjojin. Marco narrated what happened recently. Hmm, Monkey D. Whitebeard took the bounty and went from not caring to being surprised, especially when he saw, D, he couldn't help but recall what Roger had said. Yes, Dad, I heard that this person is the grandson of the Navy hero Garp. Marco smiled, as the grandson of the Navy hero is actually a pirate, it has to be said that it is very interesting. Garp's grandson. Gulala, this is getting more and more interesting. Marco, the new world will be lively in the future. As if remembering something interesting, Whitebeard stood up with his tall and burly body and ordered the fleet to move forward to a certain sea area. Half a month has passed since the Rob Tian Shang Jin. The Smile pirate ship is moving fast and getting closer to the Sabayati archipelago. During this period, Yilin completely mixed with Tuan Tuan and played around. Agent and Enelu still practiced their domineering and abilities normally because they all had super determination and desire. Karina often sang in her free time to adjust the atmosphere and familiarize herself with and redevelop the devil fruit ability. Poker found new research materials and directions. Except for eating, he hardly left the laboratory. It is said that he was studying the powerful pill. Taking one pill can permanently enhance a certain degree of strength, but there is no progress at present. At the suggestion of Sha Tien, the fishman Norant conducted swimming training in order to lay the foundation for rescuing the ability users who fell into the sea in the future. Thus, the salvage captain of the Smile Pirates was officially born. A few days later, on a sunny morning, on an uninhabited island hundreds of miles away from the Sabayati archipelago, the Smile Pirates stopped the ship to reorganize supplies. Beach, sunbathing, beautiful scenery, and the laughter of the crowd resounded throughout the island, and not far behind the crowd, a group of animals trembled, their eyes couldn't help but show fear. If these killers didn't leave, the animals on the island would be eaten to extinction. Can't escape, can't fight, too difficult. Someone is here, very strong. Enelu, who was sitting and practicing, suddenly opened his eyes wide, turned his head to look at Sha Tien, and found that Sha Tien had already stood up and was walking towards the coast. The Smile Pirates were on high alert. After all, the guy who could make Enelu say powerful must be a strong enemy. They must not be taken lightly, and there might even be a big battle. A warship with a dog head logo slowly appeared in front of everyone. Enelu and Tuantuan didn't care, because one of them knew nothing, and the other already knew who was coming. However, Kalina, Akin, Aline, and Norant subconsciously tensed their bodies, because there was only one Navy warship with such a logo. He is the legendary Navy hero Garp, who has countless legendary experiences, and has forced the pirate King Roger into a desperate situation several times, joined hands with the Navy Marshal Sengoku to capture the Golden Lion Shiki, etc. Are you here? Hee <laughs> hee. Sha Tien showed a big battleship, and stood quietly watching the battleship getting closer and closer. Sashi Buli Dana, Grandpa. Sha Tien looked at the tall figure appearing on the dog-headed battleship, took a deep breath, raised his hand and greeted. Humph, you still know that there is a grandpa like me, Sha Tien. Who? A burst of dust and smoke rose up, and the figure jumped down directly from above. The impact sounded when it landed, and a sturdy old man slowly walked out looking at Sha Tien with a serious face and complicated eyes. Grandpa. 
Karina rubbed her eyes hard, and looked at the old and the young in front of her again. Her pretty face was extremely surprised, as if she couldn't believe the information she heard. The Navy hero turned out to be Sha Tien's grandfather. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Countless question marks popped up from Enelu in everyone's heads, who dares to believe it. He he, of course, I can forget whoever I forget, but I can't forget you. After all, you raised me with your shit and piss. Sha Tien said seriously. Before the age of seven, Sha Tien lived with Garp. He started to exercise Sha Tien's physique when he was very young. In addition to the strong physique of the family bloodline, acquired basic training is also very important. So, you haven't forgotten my performance as a pirate. Defeat the seven warlords of the sea appointed by the world government, and hijack the celestial dragons Tenjojin, Sha Tien, you are too presumptuous. Garp's forehead veins bulged, wouldn't it be better to listen to his ideas and become a navy? Ah, don't be angry, grandpa. Come and taste it, my grandson, the barbecue skewers that just came out of the oven, they are fragrant. Faced with the scolding, Sha Tien didn't care at all, took the barbecue off the fire, and handed it to Garp very attentively. You, ah, seeing Sha Tien's expression of indifference, and looking at the fragrant barbecue in front of him, he couldn't help but sigh while eating. Admiral, are you really okay here? Aokiji, who had woken up on the Navy battleship at some point, had come to the deck, and his eyes were lazy and casually sweeping over the people of the Smile Pirates, as if he wanted to remember their faces. Alala, just pretend I haven't been here, ignoring Enel's expression full of fighting will, Aokiji waved his hand, pushed a bicycle to the coast, and then used the ability of the ice fruit to develop a winding and slender ice road, humming a little song, and left leisurely. Admiral of the Navy, it turns out to be a monster-level existence. Enel was a little disappointed that he didn't fight, and a good opportunity to test the results was wasted. Ah, I forgot, this time I came teach you a lesson, you fool. While eating, Garp touched his forehead and slapped it, then stared at Sha Tien with a fierce look. Hee hee, Grandpa, I am not a child now. Even if you personally catch me, it is impossible. Sha Tien said confidently. Maybe Sha Tien is not Garp's opponent at present in terms of combat power, but it is also very easy to escape. Oh, are you confident? Garp clenched his fist and blew a breath gently. In Sha Tien's perception, an invisible domineering aura has covered it. It is very strong and far exceeds himself. Swish. Taste the fist of love. As soon as the voice fell, Garp's figure disappeared, and the speed was ridiculous. It was difficult to capture even with the perception of observation hockey. What a terrifying old man. Boom. Quote. Hiss. It hurts. The grandfather and grandson swung their fists at the same time. With a sound of breaking through the air, the two fists, one big and one small, collided with each other. The domineering aura spread out, and a gust of wind was set off. The surrounding trees whistled and bent their branches. Sha Tien withdrew his fist, and an indescribable pain surged in his heart. Sure enough, Sha Tien was still a little worse in the competition of domineering. Sha Tien, are you convinced? Seeing Sha Tien's funny expression of enduring pain, Karp was very proud and raised his head and asked. No. It's not over yet. Kun Z. Lamborghini. Huh. Hearing Sha Tien's words, Karp was a little speechless. What kind of skill is this? But before he could taunt, the ground suddenly surged, and a stone in the shape of a sports car suddenly appeared and attacked Carp. HMPH. Trivial tricks. Quote. Garp slowly calmed down from shock, raised his fist and punched out, directly smashing the attacking stone into pieces, turning it into countless small stones falling to the ground. Dewey Z. Black glaze. Armament color. Serious fist. Booming sky. Since pure domineering can't beat him, then add a layer of defense. Sha Tien jumped high, and the terrifying fist quickly condensed and formed. Everyone felt their hearts sink, and inexplicable pressure fell from the sky, as if they were covered by a huge palm. This punch is interesting. Garp felt the invisible pressure, and he was very happy and helpless in his heart. If Sha Tien could be a righteous navy, with his strong strength, he would have a good chance to become a general. Bang. Quote. Garp sighed inwardly, then suddenly jumped up. 
There was no fancy moves, just a seemingly ordinary punch, but Sha Tien clearly felt that it was more powerful than last time, and more domineering. It was tough and solemn. From south to north, from east to west, the battle between the grandfather and grandson was almost all over the island. Countless trees were blown down, countless hills were flattened, and the surviving beasts on the island ran away. If they didn't run, they would be killed. In this battle, Sha Tien used 90% of his ability, and almost all means except the domineering color domineering were used. Sure enough, during the battle, seeing Sha Tien's layers of the endless powerful means and the skillful use of domineering, even Garp, who was mentally prepared, almost dropped his jaw. Compared with Luffy, Garp knew that his grandson in front of him was the most difficult guy. Since he was three years old, he showed calmness in the way of dealing with things were not like ordinary people. As he grew older, Garp was more certain that he would follow his son Dragon in the summer, and Luffy was very similar to him, carefree, living freely and happily every day. Five hours later, the grandfather and grandson returned to the original place panting. Obviously, the high-intensity battle competition consumed a lot of physical strength. Hee hee, Grandpa, how is it? Not bad, but not as good as me, ha 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 ha. Hearing Sha Tien's question, Garp laughed proudly and silently took off his charred cloak. This kid has no martial ethics when fighting, and he doesn't know how to respect the old and love the young. Hee hee, that's right. Grandpa is the strongest navy. Sha Tien smiled and flattered. HMPH, don't come on. As soon as you open your mouth, I know what you are going to do. Let's go, let's go. Garp saw the flattering expression of his grandson and immediately waved his hand in disdain. This time the education failed and he was a little unhappy. Originally, I thought Sha Tien was just a little strong, and the special nature of the thunder fruit in the team made Kazaru afraid to use his weapon and let the smiling pirates rob Tenchangjin. Now it seems that this is not the case. What did his grandson experience in the revolutionary army to grow so fast and have the combat power comparable to that of the admiral, and he can walk sideways in the new world? Goodbye, grandpa. The smiling pirates followed Sha Tien and walked out of the navy's encirclement in an orderly manner, without any navy blocking them. What do you think of the strength of the people around Sha Tien? Looking at Sha Tien and his group gradually disappearing from his sight, Garp came to Bogart's side and asked seriously. Is rumored, Enelu, who possesses the thunder fruit, and the demon Akin, who is suspected to have the mythical beast fruit, are very powerful. Even if they are really captured, it will be difficult to do it with less than two admirals. Bogart took a puff of cigarette and replied. Besides that, although the others are also strong, they are not to the extent of being taken seriously. However, there is one person I can't see through. Well, you can't see it either. Garp was shocked and frowned slightly. Well, it's that girl. There seems to be an extremely terrifying power awakening in her body. If I'm not mistaken, she may also be a devil fruit ability user with terrifying potential. Ha 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 ha. You are worthy of being my grandson. Sha Tien, what are you going to do? Garp pressed down his dog head hat, revealing a pair of deep black eyes, as if he could see through everything, but then shook his head. As a man, since he had made a choice, he could not retreat. Besides, although the old and big ones were useless, he still had Luffy, the small one. As long as he was trained properly, the family could still have an excellent navy. Garp now had no idea that Luffy, the small one, was the most unstable guy. In a few years, Garp might even cry in the toilet. In the East China Sea, on a hill, Luffy, who was fighting with Ace, suddenly sneezed and was caught in a flaw. He was punched out by Ace and sat on the ground. Luffy scratched his head and muttered to himself. Ah, what's going on? I never get sick. M. Three months have passed since Sha Tien met Garp, and Sha Tien has officially set sail for a year. On this day, the smile was sailing normally, and a group of seagulls flew over the sky in a formation, dropping a newspaper. The Emperor of the New World Ocean. Red-haired Shanks becomes the four emperors. The beginning of the three-legged race, how should the navy choose? Two of the seven warlords of the sea are vacant. Will the sea continue to be stable? Who will be the next seven warlords of the sea? The four emperors. Finally they are here. Sha Tien carefully read the newspaper, and an excited smile appeared on his handsome face. 
In 1516 on the Haiyuan calendar, red-haired Shanks ascended the throne of the four emperors. Since then, most of the New World's seas have been divided into territories by the four emperors, becoming the real emperor who controls the second half of the Grand Line. New World, Onigashima. Four emperors. Oh, la 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 la. What a nice title. In a dark residence, the laughter of the four emperors Kaido resounded through the sky, and the entire Onigashima was echoing. Tens of thousands of pirates, real fighters, and gifters under his command looked up at the area above, feeling terrified, wondering if their boss was drunk again. Huh, emperor of the sea. When did a little kid become as good as me? New World, Cake Island. The four emperors B-I-G-M-O-O-M, who was eating and drinking, was listening to the report of his eldest son Charlotte Perospero, and showed a disdainful voice. She didn't think that the young red hair Shanks could be on the same level as her, even if he had been an intern in Roger's Pirates. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard Newgate looked at the bounty in his hand and laughed. Has the little kid reached this level now? Whitebeard Newgate muttered to himself, looking at his older sons. They were the same age, but there was really no way to compare them. Roger, you are so lucky. Whitebeard's thoughts drifted far away, but he shook his head again, because for him, hegemony. Becoming the Pirate King. None of them are what he wants. Whitebeard Newgate just needs his lovely family in his heart. In fact, I am also very lucky. Gullala. However, feeling his body, Whitebeard also longs for a young man who can inherit his mantle and lead the Whitebeard Pirates to go further. Because in this sea area, powerful force is the basis for being able to do whatever one wants and the root of survival. Perhaps feeling Whitebeard's eyes, Phoenix Marco somehow felt an inexplicable sense of guilt in his heart. Over the years, the Whitebeard pirates have been relying on their father to live freely. It is hard to imagine what will happen to the pirates without the protection of Whitebeard Newgate. And the root cause of all this is that they are not strong enough as sons. Boss. You have become one of the four emperors. On an island in the New World, the red-haired pirates were having a banquet. A fat man who was chewing a big ham said with a smile, obviously very happy about the news. The emperor who reigns over the sea is really great. Red-haired Shanks said aloud, and all the members of the pirate group stopped making noise and quietly waited for their captain's next plan. Hey guys, to celebrate this moment, I decided that the banquet will continue, ha 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 ha. Red-haired Shanks suddenly raised his wine glass from a serious face and turned into a silly iron fool. Suddenly, all the members of the pirate group exclaimed and laughed happily. The necessary songs for the banquet, Bink's wine spread all over the coast. On the endless sea, a man sitting in a small boat was slowly approaching. There were no sails or oars, and it seemed that everything was sailing with the flow. That's right, this man is one of the seven warlords of the sea, the world's greatest swordsman, a man who would scare anyone who sees his eagle-like eyes, Hawkeye Jorakul Mahak. The news of the four emperors ruling the sea caused a stir in the world, and the pirates were so excited that they immediately set off to the sea. B. The Smiles Navigation System starts navigating, the destination is the Sabayati Archipelago, the whole journey is 150 nautical miles, the sailing time is 3 hours, and it is expected to arrive at 2 p.m. Hearing the voice of the Smiles Navigation System, all the members of the Smile Pirates were excited, nervous, and cheered, because arriving here means that the next step is the New World. The New World, the second half of the Grand Line, is a sea full of difficulties and crises. Most of the islands in this sea are controlled by the Four Emperors. New pirates entering this sea must either submit to the Four Emperors or defeat them and replace them. Only in this way can they live truly freely. And if you want to obtain the treasure of Pirate King Roger and reach the final island of Raftal, you must obtain the Red Text in the historical text, but the Red Text is under the control of the Four Emperor's Pirates, and it is as difficult as ascending to heaven to obtain it. The Four Emperors, who are as powerful as inhuman monsters, are really not something that ordinary people can surpass. Ding, Smile has arrived at the destination, Sabayati Archipelago, navigation ends. Please pay attention to proper docking. Wow. So many bubbles. The colorful ones are so beautiful. Is this a tree? What a strange tree. Yeah ha 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 ha. Sha tien, I can't wait. The new world must have more new materials. The members of the Smile Pirates looked up at the huge mangroves in front of them, and sighed. Okay, 
everyone land. Remember to gather here in the afternoon, Sha Tien stood on the bow and smiled. Okay, Captain. Yeah, I got it, boss. Uh-huh, I got it, Sha Tien. I hope nothing unexpected happens. Seeing the disapproving look of everyone, Karina was immediately overwhelmed. After joining the pirate group, she quickly made up a lot of knowledge about navigation and the division of forces in the New World, and now she is a qualified pirate. Therefore, she knew the special nature of this island. Countless pirates rushed to the Sabayati archipelago in order to go to the New World and realize their dream of treasure hunting. This undoubtedly caused the Sabayati archipelago to gather countless powerful pirates from all over the world, including many Devil Fruit ability users. The most important thing is that it is not far from the Navy headquarters and the Holy Land of Marihoa. This has created some illegal areas of entertainment nature. After all, in the eyes of those stupid celestial dragons, their own happiness is far more important than the strategic intentions of the world government. Therefore, the Navy, the world government, pirates, the emperors of the dark world, such as the slave auction house controlled by Da Flamingo, etc., all major forces are crisscrossed, becoming a stable and chaotic gathering place. Everyone acted separately, each going to different numbered islands according to their preferences. Sha Tien also went to Sha Chi's bar according to the information in his memory. After all, when he came here, he had to go to see the former vice captain of the pirate King Roger Pirates, Pluto Silver Baz Rayleigh. After all, he is a famous coding master on this island. Although the smile obtained by the system also has a protective shield, Sha Tien feels that he should experience the local culture, follow the local customs, and avoid being too conspicuous. The most important thing is that coding is a task randomly triggered by the system, and there is a reward that makes Sha Tien very excited. Random task, coding the smile, and the Pirate King's Vice Captain Silver Baz Rayleigh will personally code it, and get a chance to draw a lottery plus one, and a reward of teleportation anchor plus two inches. Teleportation anchor, after installation, you can quickly teleport between two places, regardless of the distance, and reach it in five seconds. The host can specify the authority of the teleporter, and the unauthorized personnel cannot teleport. Very strong, Sha Tien even thought about pressing one at the Navy headquarters or the Holy Land Mary Joa. If he is unhappy that day, he will kill it directly, make a big fuss, and then teleport away directly. Even Kazaru can't catch up. Here, after wandering around the island for a while, Sha Tien looked up at the number 13 on the huge mangrove and said softly. After asking a few passers-by, Sha Tien soon arrived at, Sha Chi's blackmail bar. Crack. Pushing the door open, Sha Tien walked in slowly, looked around, and found that there was no customer, so he went straight to his seat and sat down. Boss, give me a glass of rum. Hey, little brother, wait a moment. When Sha Tien came in, Sha Chi noticed that the super rookie pirate who had been making a lot of noise recently had a bounty of 500 million baileys in just one year at sea. As an intelligence expert, although he is no longer a pirate, he still knows a lot of news and is very timely. Boss, I heard that there is a coding master named Rayleigh here. I want him to help coat my ship. The price is not bad. Is a problem. Quote. Oh, brother, the coding fee is very expensive. Sha Chi was slightly stunned, and mentioned Rayleigh by name. It seems that the young man in front of him came prepared. It's okay, I'm not short of money. Besides, I can also get some good luck from the help of Roger, the vice captain of the Pirate King, and maybe I will be the next Pirate King, ha 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 ha. Oh, you are full of confidence, Sha Tien, not everyone can become a Pirate King. Quote dot. The door opened in the backyard, and a sturdy old man with white hair came out with a wine jug. He looked at Sha Tien with a pair of deep eyes, as if he wanted to see something. Pluto Silver Baz Rayleigh. I have heard of your name for a long time, and today I see that you are indeed extraordinary. Quote. Sha Tien felt the terrifying energy contained in Rayleigh's body and calculated the outcome of the battle. After all, as a legendary pirate, it would be bad if he suddenly attacked and destroyed the corpses. Well, you really know me. So, what exactly do you want to do here, my friend? You know, Rayleigh now just wants to spend his old age peacefully, drink and take a walk, and sell his money to make some money to buy wine when he has no money. He is leisurely and comfortable, and he doesn't want to cause unnecessary trouble for no reason. 
Rayleigh suddenly burst out a terrifying pressure and attacked Sha Tien, the domineering color domineering. Very strong. It was just a test. Sha Tien stared at Rayleigh without fear, as if nothing had happened. I said, I just came to find a good coding master and pay homage to the legendary big man by the way, Sha Tien grinned and answered in a steady tone. One more friend is much better than one more enemy. Is that so? Tell me the docking position, I'll go check it out, but let me tell you in advance, the price I'll pay is very high. The air in the tavern was silent for a while. Rayleigh looked at Sha Tien with a little surprise, facing the conqueror's hockey without a trace of hesitation. It seems that the rumor that he robbed Tian Shang Jin and repelled the general is true. It's really the Yangtze River behind the waves pushing the old waves. Now this young man is incredible. He he, I said, I'm not short of money. Sha Tien said with a smile, money doesn't matter, as long as the system rewards are strong. So, Sha Tien showed Rayleigh the docking position of the smile, and he went to other areas to look around, just in case he could find a bargain. After all, there are so many auction houses on this island. Rayleigh, this little guy seems to be unusual. The intelligence records that he is Garp's grandson. Sha Chi exhaled a puff of misty smoke, puffing and puffing. Well, it's really interesting, ha 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 ha. Monkey D. Summer, Rayleigh laughed, recalling Shank's words in his mind. It seems that there is a little guy named Luffy, who is also Garp's grandson, and he always wants to be the pirate king. I really want to see the expression of this old guy. Saying goodbye to Rayleigh, Sha Tien whistled and sang happily as he headed to the next island, heading for the illegal area of Area 16, which is the dark side of the island, with fighting, robbery, human traffickers, etc. Boom. As soon as his left foot stepped into Area 16, a huge cannon sounded in Sha Tien's ears. He looked ahead and saw dust and smoke rising in front of him. Two pirate groups were fighting hard, and there was a group of people watching the scene with fiery eyes. The cause of the conflict was the box in the hands of one of the pirate captains. Devil Fruit. That's right, the two teams were fighting for the Devil Fruit, and the ground was stained with blood. The strong smell of blood was very pungent, and broken limbs were everywhere. Bang. If you keep snatching, no one will leave today. The two pirates fought hand to hand, and their weapons sparked. One of them said viciously, looking around. After resisting each other for more than 10 seconds, they finally reached an agreement. They took a step back and stopped fighting. Because this is the illegal area of the Sabayati archipelago, even if the two pirates win or lose, they can't get out alive. Just look at the eyes of those who are choosing to eat people. After all, many people will take risks for such precious treasures as devil fruits. Huh, stopped. It seems that you are smart. It's a pity that you wanted to take advantage of the chaos to find a loophole. Seeing the stop, Sha Tien shook his head and ignored it. He turned around and was about to leave. After all, entering the new world is the most important thing, and there is no need to be too conspicuous. Hey, you want to leave now? Have you asked our boss for permission? A yellow-haired pirate walked out of the crowd and said arrogantly. Wild Wolf Pirates. The leader is Wolf King Bai Kuang, a pirate with a bounty of 100 million berries. The pirates with devil fruits trembled, holding the wooden box tightly with both hands, and grasping the blade with their right hands. This kind of bounty pirate is not something they can resist. You, this is what we got, why should we give it to you? Why? Of course it's because we are stronger than you. Boy, don't you know that the strong are respected? The leader of the wild wolf pirates, a strong man with long white hair, said with a mocking face, and with a hand, the sharp wolf claws shot out, flashing dazzling light in the sun. Fight. The leaders of the two pirate groups looked at each other, then quickly took out swords and guns and raised their hands to attack. The target was the wild wolf pirates. Only in this way could there be a glimmer of life. As for the distribution of devil fruits in the future, let's talk about it after they survive. After all, this fruit was discovered by the two pirate groups together, and they have been entangled from the Grand Line to here. Humph, you're looking for death. Facing the attack of the pirates in front of them, the wild wolf pirates stood quietly, not worried at all, because their captain had transformed. The originally strong body of the wild wolf pirates leader Bai Kuang exploded again, his muscles expanded visibly, his body quickly rose, and a white wolf with snow-white hair and a height of more than three meters appeared. 
Then a white shadow flashed by, and then a huge wolf head appeared again, baring its teeth and biting at the pirate holding the gun. Ah! The sharp wolf teeth bit off a large piece of flesh and blood, and the arm holding the devil fruit produced a severe pain that instantly spread all over the body. Then, with a huge scream, the wooden box fell down, and the devil fruit inside rolled a few times, and it happened to roll under Sha Tien's feet. Ah, uh, what is this? Those who are destined to get it. Destiny is in my hands. Sha Tien saw the devil fruit coming over, slowly bent down and picked it up, and blew away the dust. Ding, detected the paramen type blood-sucking vine devil fruit. Do you want to put it in the backpack? No. It would be too abrupt to put it in the backpack now, and since it's here, it's yours, and no one can take it away. Bang. With a loud bang, a huge deep pit was smashed in front of Sha Tien, and inside was a blood-stained person. Looking closely, it was the original recipient of this devil fruit. Roar. The smell of blood wafted into his nose, and a pair of sharp wolf claws attacked him head on. A buzzing metal tremor came from the air, as if trying to kill Sha Tien with one blow. Good attack power, but it's too slow. Tai Chi, collapse fist. Sha Tien's body was slightly dislocated, his right hand clenched into a fist, and the armed color domineering wrapped around his fist, and he blasted straight out. The terrifying fist burst out with a sound explosion, and the space produced waves of ripples. The originally fierce wild wolf Bai Kuang was hit in the abdomen by the heavy fist, and the domineering force directly penetrated him. With a wow, Bai Kuang opened his mouth and widened his eyes and fainted. One punch. Just one punch. The pirate with a bounty of 100 million berries was defeated. When the wild wolf pirates saw Sha Tien looking at them, they subconsciously stepped back. In their eyes, Sha Tien was like a monster. The powerful boss was killed in an instant. No one wanted to accept this result, but the facts were in front of them and had to be acknowledged. Seeing that no one wanted to fight, Sha Tien left with the devil fruit. Today is a good day. I can pick up a devil fruit when I go out. After walking away, Sha Tien put the devil fruit into the system. Looking up at the sky, Sha Tien quickened his pace and planned to gather with everyone first to arrange the next things. You know, the coding takes at least three days, and the smile pirates need to live on the island. Boss, really? Stay here for three days. Tuan Tuan heard Sha Tien's decision and jumped high in excitement and grabbed Yi Lin's hand. Both the man and the panda were very excited. I think they didn't have enough fun. After all, a panda who has never seen the world, a little guy who has never been far away at a young age. Well, of course. Hee <laughs> hee, long live the boss. Auction house in area 1 of Sabayati Archipelago. A very wretched and ugly guy came in carrying a sack that was constantly squirming. Hey, isn't this Peterman? What good stuff is being auctioned at this time? The hottest thing today is the giants. A registrar at the auction said. It was obvious that the two were familiar with each other and should be old customers. Hey, look. I caught this with great difficulty. Sizzle. The zip tie was opened, and a white-skinned boy appeared inside. Human. No, if you look closely, you can see the gill-like organs on the boy's neck. That's right, the boy being trafficked in front of him is a young fishman. Maresman. Where did you get it from, Peterman? The registrar was very excited and asked in a trembling voice. You know, the arm strength of a fishman is ten times that of a normal human. It is a slave that the nobles of the Holy Land Mary Joa like very much. It must be sold at a good price. This is confidential. Okay, fishman, this auction will definitely be a hot spot. Peterman, you've made a fortune this time. Yeah, remember to help me sell it at a good price. The registrar waited until Peterman left, then stood up excitedly and ran to the office area upstairs. Crack. Mr. Disco, this auction will be very lively. Of course, after all, giant slaves are very rare, this auction will be carefully prepared, and the celestial dragons will also participate, Disco looked up and smiled happily. No, Mr. Disco, Fishman. Young Fishman. What? Fishman. Ha 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 ha. Great, this auction will definitely be a big hit. Come on, take me to see it. Two days later, the mature and steady Norland came to Sha Tien with a pale face, hesitant to speak. What happened? Norland. Sha Tien frowned and asked hurriedly. I just passed by Area 1 and found that the auction house was going to auction fishmen today. 
I couldn't control myself and secretly followed in to check. I saw that the person being trafficked was actually my nephew. Norland lowered his head, his eyes were red and bloodshot, and he kept slapping his head. He regretted that if he was stronger, he might be able to save his nephew. He was once captured by human traffickers because he was too weak, and now his nephew is also in the same situation. He is really unlucky. Captain Sha Tien, I beg you to save my nephew. Norland was about to kneel down and beg Sha Tien, but was grabbed by Sha Tien. You are my companion now, and companions don't need these. Since it is an auction house, let's go to the auction. Sha Tien didn't think too much and gave the order directly. Just keep raising the price, he didn't think of paying anyway. As for whether to offend the person behind the auction, Sha Tien didn't care. In his memory, the auction in the Sabayati archipelago should be one of Doflamingo's industries. Thank you, Captain. Norant, a mature and steady middle-aged fishman, couldn't help crying for a while. Don't worry, old Nuo, we will definitely rescue our nephew, Tuan Tuan walked over, and the fat pop patted Norante's shoulder and advised. Yeah, but, old Nuo, your family is too unlucky, and they were all caught. Tuan Tuan, who had just comforted him, added another blow invisibly. Norant. In the number one area auction house, the smiling pirates came to the auction house in a mighty manner, found a suitable seat in advance, and sat down quietly waiting for the auction to start. After a while, nobles from various kingdoms began to enter the auction hall one after another. Some pirates also came in and sat down in a swagger. They seemed to be old acquaintances of the auction hall. After waiting for everyone to sit down, a team of strong soldiers in armor emerged from the door and separated the road in an orderly manner. In an instant, the auction hall fell into a dead silence. Except for the sound of swallowing saliva secretly, everyone was as exquisite as ever. Tat, tat, tat. The sound of footsteps sounded, and a celestial dragon wearing a bubble hood walked in with a celestial dragon dog. Following closely behind was a middle-aged celestial dragon, who was walking slowly step by step to the front VIP seat, where there was a special seat reserved by the auction hall. The two celestial dragons walked around with their eyes, and everyone lowered their heads in fear, not daring to speak, for fear that a momentary impulse would cause an accident. As for Enelu, because Sha Tien had given him a vaccination in advance, although he looked disdainful, he did not cause trouble and remained silent quietly. Seeing that everyone was present, especially the Tianlong people, the auction host Disco came to the auction table with a smile on his face, tapped the auction hammer lightly, and announced the official start of the auction. Let's unveil the first auction item. This knife was forged by a famous knife forger. It is extremely sharp and indestructible. The starting price is 100,000 berries. 120,000 berries. I want it. I just need a collection. 150,000 berries. 160,000 berries. HMPH, 200,000 berries, this is mine. A fat kingdom noble said with his head held high. Are there any more bids? 200,000 once, 200,000 twice. 200,000 berries three times, congratulations to the kingdom of Pitga for obtaining this collection. The host disco waved his hand and announced the destination of the first collection. Let's bring up the second item, it must be. An hour later, the auction was gradually coming to an end. At this time, the host disco kept everyone in suspense. He did not take out the auction item immediately, but came to the middle of the auction and lightly pressed the red button. A huge steel helmet appeared from the bottom of the auction hall with light reflected. So big. Is this a helmet? What does it mean? I don't know, it can't be an auction helmet. Hey, Disco, stop keeping us in suspense, tell us what this auction item is. The noise gradually sounded, and Disco showed a cunning smile of conspiracy. Obviously, the shouts of the people in the auction hall were the atmosphere he wanted. Of course, there were also professional agents trained by himself. Since everyone is so enthusiastic, let's reveal the second to last auction item. Sizzle. The sound of the chain dragging on the ground filled the entire auction hall. The first thing that caught everyone's eyes was a huge and thick chain. As the iron chain dragged, a tall figure appeared. Giants. Hey, is this true? It's actually a giant. Hey, it would be great if we could bid for it. The giant's slaves have terrifying combat power. Forget it, didn't you see the one in front? 
The speaker's voice became smaller and smaller, but everyone's eyes were on the two celestial dragons in front, because with them, no one else would get the good stuff, or in other words, from the beginning, everyone in this auction was just a foil. Huh, you're right. Giant, former captain of the giant marine pirates, a pirate with a bounty of 120 million berries, the starting price is 100 million berries, please bid. Disco waved his hand, and then looked at everyone in the auction seat with expectation. 200 million berries. Quote. Before anyone else could speak, a celestial dragon directly bid. 200 million baileys might be a huge sum of money in the eyes of others, but in the eyes of celestial dragons, it was just a string of numbers. After all, the whole world was under their rule. As descendants of the kingdom that formed the world government 800 years ago, they have always regarded themselves as descendants of the Creator and called themselves descendants of God. There is nothing in the world that they cannot get. Hiss. Everyone at the auction took a breath and looked at the celestial dragon in front of them without saying a word. Sure enough, they did not have the ability to bid. Since no one has chosen to bid, then this giant slave will be owned by Charlo. The Saint of Sea has obtained it. Disco shouted loudly, and was extremely excited in his heart. It turned out that the celestial dragon's berry was the easiest to make money. As long as the atmosphere was right, these guys didn't care whether it was expensive or cheap. Next, it's the highlight of this auction. Let's take a look at the young fishman slaves from the deep sea fishman island. Soon, a thin figure was pulled up by a chain, with snow white skin, bare feet, a pair of gray eyes, and heavy steps. Hearing the unusually noisy auction seats below, the fishman boy couldn't help shrinking his body. Wow, what a cute fishman. I really want to buy it back. It's such a precious pet. Forget it, didn't you see the celestial dragons here? Don't be whimsical. Humph, Disco is too immoral this time. He even notified the celestial dragons to come. We all became foils. Fishman. Didn't Princess Shalulia always want to keep one as a pet? It's just right to buy it as a birthday present. Maresman. Didn't Princess Shalulia always want to keep one as a pet? It's just right to buy it back as a birthday present. After sucking his big nose hard, Saint Charlos looked at the Maresman on the auction table with a happy smile, clapped his hands excitedly and shouted. 500 million. Saint Charlos stood up suddenly, raised his hand and stretched out five fingers, and said in a muffled voice. 500 million. Everyone was shocked. He was indeed the stupid son of a landlord. He had too much money to spend. Even Disco was very excited at the moment. This auction was a great success. The popularity of the giants and maresmen alone made him earn a lot of money. 600 million berries. Just when everyone thought that St. Charles had successfully bid for the maresmen, a cold voice came from behind the auction seat, making everyone turn their heads and look at Sha Tien with different expressions. Are you going to die? You are actually snatching slaves from the celestial dragons. Hey, he is really a newborn calf who is not afraid of tigers. This guy is going to be finished. I seem to have seen him somewhere. Where exactly? Hey, from what you said, I seem to have seen him there too. Seeing Sha Tien and the others talking among themselves, they suddenly felt a little sad for the young and energetic young people like Sha Tien, and even thought of the tragic ending of Sha Tien and the others. 700 million. 800 million berries. Facing the angry voice of the celestial dragons, Sha Tien kept smiling at the corners of his mouth and spoke again in a very stable tone. Get out, 10 billion berries. 15 billion. Ignoring the cursing look of Saint Charles, Sha Tien directly raised the price. Soon, the auction price reached an unprecedented height of 1500 million. Even the precious mermaids did not have such a high price. I am so angry, you stupid pariah, how dare you bid against me, kill him. Saint Charles sniffed the big snot on the corner of his mouth viciously, raised his hand and pointed in the direction of Sha Tien and ordered the soldiers that if they repeatedly upset him, they must be severely punished. Ha ha, celestial dragons. The ruler of the world. That's it. He's actually angry because of lack of money, how ridiculous, ha 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 ha. Seeing the celestial dragon's actions, Sha Tien slowly opened his mouth to mock, and then laughed loudly, his hearty laughter resounded throughout the auction hall, and the sound echoed for a long time. Everyone in the auction hall opened their mouths wide, so exaggerated that a goose egg could be stuffed in, and their expressions were all stunned. 
How dare they do that? I, I think I know who he is. At this time, a passerby suddenly said. The super rookie pirate group that has become famous in recent times, defeated two Shichibukai in a row, and repelled the Admiral of the Navy to snatch the Tenho Gold, the captain of the Smiling Pirates, Monkey D. Sha Tien. It turned out to be them, no wonder they look familiar. It's really a group of crazy guys. Are they going to challenge the Celestial Dragons? The increasingly noisy sounds around made the two Celestial Dragons frown, their veins bulged, an inexplicable anger rushed to their hearts, and their bodies trembled slightly. Soldiers, catch them, I want them to be my slaves. Never turn over. Saint Charlo's ordered. Yes. Let's go together. The soldiers in full armor around began to quickly surround Sha Tien and others, holding their weapons and preparing to attack. Hey, Sha Tien, can you kill them? Enelu tilted his head, and his cold tone made the air around him a little colder. After all, he had never been so aggrieved as a god. He was just a weak fat pig. What was there to be afraid of? He could be wiped out with a wave of his hand. Keep your life. Others are up to you. Understood. Hearing Sha Tien say this, Enelu also understood that although it was disgusting, the two guys in front of him were still useful. They couldn't be killed at the moment, but it was not his fault that they were missing arms and legs. Zilla. Silent lightning gathered from the top of St. Charlos's head, and fell down suddenly as Enelu casually swung his arm. The whole auction hall flashed with lightning, and a sound of falling to the ground was heard. Ah. Run. The celestial dragons were beaten, leave here quickly, the admiral is coming. It's over, it's over, the property I just bought is going to be destroyed before it can be used, the celestial dragons are injured, and this place will be destroyed by the demon slayer order. Why am I so unlucky? The celestial dragon was suddenly knocked to the ground, with white smoke coming out of his body, lightning flashing from time to time, and the bubbles on his head that isolated the outside air were directly shattered to the ground, blood flowed from the corners of his mouth, and he fell into a coma. Saint Charles. Another celestial dragon Saint Rosward suddenly looked anxious, looking at Sha Tien who was approaching step by step, unconsciously stepped back a few steps, took out a pistol from his body, raised his hand to Sha Tien Tien pulled the trigger. Bang! The gunshot sounded, and the bullet instantly burst out from the muzzle and hit Sha Tien's head. Tisk! Boring! Sha Tien tilted his head slightly to avoid the bullet, and his figure flashed to the front of Saint Rosward, collected 99% of his strength, and then punched him in the body, but even so, the powerful force still made St. Rosward fly backwards and hit the wall of the auction house directly. A human-shaped pit suddenly appeared in front of him, and its depth could not even be deducted. Boom. Ada. Tuan Tuan waved his little fat claws one by one, and soon defeated all the soldiers. On the other side, Norant also successfully found the key and rescued his nephew. No Fei, are you okay? Nolan shook Nofei's thin body a few times and whispered softly, fearing that he would scare him again. Listen, pirates inside, you have been surrounded. Hurry up and surrender, and release the two celestial dragons, otherwise you will bear the consequences. Outside the auction house, the navy had received the news and rushed over as quickly as possible. Thousands of people quickly surrounded the auction house and shouted loudly. Navy. Really fast, worthy of being the first lackey. Tuantuan curled his lips and said with disdain. Ha ha ha, let's go, take these two guys. This is a good bargaining chip. Yes. A jin heard it, silently dragged up the two unconscious celestial dragons, holding one arm at the same time, and followed Sha Tien closely. Hey, Navy. Sha Tien, who had just left the auction house, raised his hand to block the dazzling sunlight, and then smiled and greeted the Navy in front of him with a familiar look. Monkey D. Sha Tien, you have been surrounded. Hurry up and release the St. Roswald family. There may be a chance of survival. Otherwise, the smiling pirates will be destroyed here today. The leading naval officer warned solemnly with a serious face, and the surrounding naval soldiers gradually weakened the encirclement. Navy, you are too confident. You think you can capture us with just a few thousand people. If you want to capture us, at least let your great future come. You are too weak. Get out of the way. Sha Tien raised his head and widened his eyes. The domineering aura of the king swept all around. The invisible pressure enveloped all the navy. The clouds in the sky above his head spread. In an instant, 
countless Navy soldiers fainted on the ground because they could not bear the pressure. Even the naval officer only held on for a few seconds and fell down. Hee hee, the boss is so handsome, but I can't learn it, woo. Seeing Sha Tien solve all the enemies with a glance, Tu Antoine pouted, a little unhappy, because it couldn't learn it, it was very troublesome. On the side, Yi Lin saw this scene and was also very envious. Standing with Tu Antoine, his clear eyes flashed with a gleam of brilliance, and his hand holding the sniper rifle was even more powerful. Because he also wanted to learn it. Hao Wang Haki. Not far from the battlefield, a tall, dark-skinned middle-aged man with two curved black beards, a dark blue top hat, a ripped dress, and a scabbard on each side of the belt showed a shocked look. This person is none other than Flower Sword Vista, the captain of the 5th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, a world-famous double-sword swordsman who once stopped Hawkeye in the top war. Even the first swordsman who never remembers the name of weakness admires Vista's swordsmanship very much. Flower Sword Vista didn't expect to encounter such an interesting thing on the way back to the New World, especially after noticing the human figure dragging behind Sha Tien and his group, he was even more surprised. Celestial Dragons. You know, even the four emperors would not provoke the Celestial Dragons, a group of world nobles, for no reason. After all, the Navy Admiral and the Demon Slayer Order are really annoying and can easily cause a world war. Of course, if nothing happened, the Celestial Dragons would not go to the Four Emperors' territory. After all, they don't want any accidents. Oh, Whitebeard Pirate's Flower Sword Vista. Sha Tien felt someone staring at him, turned his head and recognized Vista's identity, and both of them showed a friendly smile. Hey, Sha Tien, this guy seems to be quite powerful. Enelu also felt the sense of being peeped and said to Sha Tien. Well, of course, after all, he is the captain of the Four Emperors Whitebeard Pirates, and his strength should not be underestimated. Four Emperors. I really want to fight them, those guys who are at the top of this world. Enel has become a battle maniac without knowing when, especially after hearing about the strong men in the New World, lightning flashes on his body, full of fighting spirit. Marine Headquarters, Marinford. At this moment, he received a call from the Sabayati Archipelago with a black line and confusion on his face. The smiling pirates beat up the celestial dragons. They are such a worrying bunch, don't they know the consequences? The whole office was silent for a few minutes, Zhangguo slammed the table heavily, and then asked the guard to find the admiral who was currently at the headquarters. It's a coincidence that the current Admiral Akainu is guarding the Celestial Dragon's Holy Land Mary Geois, and the Admiral Aokiji is riding a bicycle to somewhere unknown. At present, the only Admiral who is off-duty and wants to fish in the Navy headquarters is Kazaru Borsalino. Why do I feel an ominous premonition? Kazaru, who was drinking tea leisurely, had his eyelids twitching one after another, and he was very confused. At this moment, there was a knock on the office door, and a Navy soldier came in breathlessly. Admiral, Marshal Sengoku invites you to come over. The soldier said respectfully. Well, what happened? It's the Sabayati Archipelago. It seems that a pirate group is causing trouble and injuring the Celestial Dragons. The Navy soldier honestly brought out the information on the tray. Who is so bold? The pirate groups nowadays are really scary. The intelligence said it was the Smile Pirates. The captain's name is Monkey D. Sha Tien. The admiral should know this person. Puff, who are you talking about? Kazaru, who was about to take a sip of tea, sprayed directly. What on earth are these guys doing? One thing is more difficult than another. Now they dare to beat even the celestial dragons. Admiral. Huh. Where are the people? In the blink of an eye, Kazaru had already used his ability to come to Sengoku's office. You know everything. This time, you are needed to capture the smiling pirates. Time is urgent. You must ensure the safety of the celestial dragons, otherwise our navy will not be able to raise our heads again. Seeing Kazaru's constipated expression, Sengoku was helpless, but still told Kazaru the seriousness of the matter. Got it, Mr. Sengoku. Seeing that Sengoku had no leniency at all, Kazaru felt bitter. It seemed that this desperate work would be handed over to him again. Isn't this bullying an honest man? With a sigh in his heart, he randomly turned into a golden light and flew out of the window, heading straight for the Sabayati archipelago. Along the way, Kazaru was thinking about how to communicate with the smiling pirates. Force. 
It won't work. He can't do it alone. Reason. It's ridiculous. How can the Navy reason with pirates? Old man, what should we do? As soon as Kazaru set off, the elite troops of the Navy headquarters also rushed to the Sabayati archipelago by boat, including two vice admirals Momo who were substitutes for the admiral. Rabbit and Chatton, because Sengoku knew from the last incident that it was difficult for only Kazaru to pose a strong threat. In the Sabayati archipelago, seeing Sha Tien and his group coming, the residents on the island began to retreat, looking at the smile pirates and the two celestial dragons dragged behind Agent in fear. Swoosh. There was a sound of breaking through the air in the sky, and a yellow figure appeared on the scene, it was Admiral Kazaru who came at a very fast speed. Hey, Monkey D. Sha Tien, we meet again. What? Come to save people. Sha Tien stopped, the air was filled with a murderous atmosphere, and everyone began to retreat, because if they could stay in this level of battle, they would stay forever. What a terrible murderous aura, I feel my soul trembling, Kazaru immediately looked shocked, and acted very skilled, obviously doing this kind of thing a lot. Cut it out, tell Zongguo that if you want to take the celestial dragons away without any injuries, your navy needs to exchange them with something of equal value. Without paying attention to Huang Yuan, Sha Tien went straight to the point and spoke. After all, the celestial dragons are worth only this much at the moment, and two celestial dragons should be able to exchange for a lot of berries. Huh, exchange. Hearing this, Huang Yuan was actually relieved. As long as it wasn't too much, the navy could still accept it. After all, they are world nobles, so five billion berries. Five billion. That's right, five billion berries per person. Ahem. Hu Yuan was shocked. This guy really dared to ask for it. Five billion berries per person, wouldn't it be ten billion berries for two people? He really thought the navy was a sucker. However, if he didn't give it, it seemed that it would be difficult to settle the matter today, and Huang Yuan was afraid that these guys in front of him would do something crazy and kill the celestial dragons directly. Tap, tap, tap. At this time, Tautu and Chatan led a dense crowd of naval elites to arrive, with countless guns raised and aimed at the smiling pirates. Is this your attitude? My crew members are not very good tempered. If they act impulsively, the celestial dragon will lose a little part. Having said this, Sha Tien stopped, and the meaning was very clear. If the navy made some unwise actions again, the two celestial dragons might die. Don't be impulsive, let's talk, monkey D. Sha Tien. At this time, the solemn voice of Sengoku came from the Den Den Mushi in Tautu's hand. Okay, let's talk. Negotiation. Okay. Sha Tien raised his mouth slightly, revealing a smile, and then sat directly on the celestial dragon, waiting for the next sincerity of Sengoku. You. A navy saw Sha Tien's arrogant action, and just as he was about to open his mouth to scold, he was warned by Chatan's eyes. There was no need to anger Sha Tien at this time. Otherwise, if he really did something crazy, the celestial dragon died, and the navy would also be blamed by the world government. With the smile pirates as the center, several nearby streets are now full of elite soldiers from the navy headquarters, surrounded by three circles inside and three circles outside, waiting for the order from the navy headquarters. Two celestial dragons, ten billion baileys. Sha Tien spoke again, simply and directly quoted the price, just like the civilians in the eyes of the celestial dragons, the current celestial dragons are just a more expensive item in Sha Tien's eyes. Impossible, the navy can't come up with so much berry. Den Den Mushi rang, and the voice of Sengoku was suppressed to the extreme. After so many years in the industry, no one dared to threaten him, not even the pirate King Roger back then. Really? Then the negotiations are over, let's start the war. Everyone. Sha Tien stood up, and the smiling pirates saw this and prepared for battle, wanting to go all out. After all, their captain gave a big order. Wait, the navy can't come up with so much wealth, but in addition to Barry, you can change other conditions. There is no way, the celestial dragons were captured, and the handle fell into Sha Tien's hands, and the navy could only be slaughtered. Another reason is that Sha Tien is very strong, even the admiral of the navy cannot say that he will win 100%, and can only solve it through negotiations. Strength is the basic condition for measuring everything. Other conditions. I want to be the pirate king. Sha Tien, I'm serious, I'm not kidding you. Time and time again, Sengoku finally couldn't help it. 
The roar of Sengoku sounded from the other end of the Den Den Mushi, and the terrifying penetrating power directly enveloped the entire navy headquarters. I'm serious too. A pirate wants to be the pirate king in addition to treasure, otherwise. Huh, no room for negotiation. Well, no. Kill, navy, kill them for me. They dared to insult the celestial dragons, they must be killed. Just when Sha Tien and Sengoku were at a stalemate in the negotiations, the celestial dragons woke up. Seeing Sha Tien sitting casually in Roswad Saint, Charlo's Saint had a gloomy face and shouted to the navy. Noisy. Leave something to be quiet. Sha Tien frowned slightly, dug his ears with his little finger, and a cold voice sounded. The knife fell. It hurts, it hurts, ah. Sha Tien just finished speaking when a jin chopped off one of Saint Charlo's fingers. The pain from inside out burst out, and the violent screams resounded through the sky. He bared his teeth like a dog and rolled on the ground. Navy, my patience is limited. If I wait any longer, I don't know what will happen. Don't be impulsive, Sha Tien. I need to think about it. Okay, I need you to make a decision in five seconds. Five, four, one, kill him. That won't do. It's very troublesome for a celestial dragon to die in front of me. Boom. Kazaru turned into a beam of light and kicked the sledgehammer that a jin was about to swing. The conflict between the two produced a terrifying air wave that exploded above the celestial dragon's head. The heavy pressure like a mountain directly crushed the celestial dragon, and his bones creaked, as if his whole body was shattered. He couldn't even speak. Yeah ha 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 ha. Navy, come on. Enelu opened his arms, thunder suddenly appeared, a thunder shook the earth, a strong voltage burst directly, and indiscriminate attacks were carried out in all directions. The sky was covered with dark clouds, thunder flashed, and the sky was covered like the end of the world. Enelu flew into the sky, and then countless thick thunder beams fell from the sky. Boom, boom, boom. Countless thunders fell from the sky, bursting with supreme power wherever they went, and all the buildings in the encirclement were destroyed in an instant. The elite navy who were surrounding the smiling pirates looked up at the sky in astonishment, and their faces turned pale in an instant. The arms holding the guns began to tremble, fear enveloped their hearts, and a sense of powerlessness appeared. Is this kind of battle really something they can participate in? The power of the natural devil fruit was once again reflected. The navy had some concerns because of the celestial dragons, but Sha Tien and them did not. The raging violent thunder wanted to destroy all enemies that hindered them. Without the extremely powerful domineering spirit, ordinary people can only dodge such terrifying thunder to have a glimmer of hope. After one move, nearly half of the navy soldiers fainted, lightning flashed on his body, twitching constantly. One sword style, hundred flowers bloom. Tautu drew out the sword at his waist, the famous sword Kinpira, and faced Sha Tien. He ran quickly and slashed with a sword. Slashes like petals came from all directions and flew towards Sha Tien. HMPH. How could I let you attack our captain as soon as you came? Agent's figure flashed in front of Sha Tien, and a pair of strange wings waved in the form of a ghost car. Wind blades blew up and collided with the slashes. The dense wind blades not only blocked the attack but also counterattacked with numbers. Leave this fat man to me. Tuan Tuan volunteered, and his fat body trembled as he walked forward, getting closer and closer to Lieutenant General Chatton. Tai Chi Bagua appeared under him, and with an acceleration, Tuan Tuan's fleshy fist went straight to Chatton's forehead, trying to make a critical hit. What a vicious pirate. Chatton's body flashed past, avoiding Tuan Tuan's attack. A wall of earth emerged from the ground, and then several walls of earth appeared, trying to surround Tuan Tuan. Ability user. Tuantuan's chubby face was bitter. He didn't expect to meet such a tough guy. After just one fight, Tuantuan could judge that this person's strength was not comparable to that of an ordinary vice admiral. Very strong. Very strong. The main force of the navy was blocked by the smile pirates. Captain Sha Tien was unusually relaxed. His agile figure came to the middle of the remaining elite navy soldiers, punching one after another. Every time he threw a punch, dozens of navy soldiers took off and fell to the ground. At this moment, Sha Tien was an invincible god of war. Soon a path was cleared in front of the smile pirates. Seeing the navy soldiers being killed instantly, Kazaru and the other two had mixed feelings in their hearts. 
They wanted to support but had no way. We made a mistake, Mr. Sengoku. The smile pirates seemed to be stronger than we expected. We can't resist them now. Chatan dodged Tuantuan's attack while reporting the battlefield situation to Den Den Mushi in a serious tone. Before coming, Chatan didn't pay much attention to this new pirate group. Now it seems that he was wrong. Tai Chi, hit the bull from across the mountain. Your trick is useless. You have no way to break my defense, cough cough. Chatan was talking confidently, but in the next second, he felt a sharp pain in his abdomen. He looked at the strange panda in front of him with disbelief. Chatan didn't understand what kind of trick it was. It could hit him through the wall. Hee hee, now you know how powerful I am. Tuantuan held his head high and said very proudly. The smile pirates are so strong, each of them is like a monster. Indeed, they even stopped the admiral of the navy, how terrible. Doesn't the navy have a backup plan? No matter what, if the smile pirates leave safely after today's battle, they will be famous when they go to the new world. Even the four emperors will invite them. Ah, yes, yes. It seems that this is the only way. After fighting with Enelu dozens of times, Kazaru pulled away and looked at the people around him. There were many wrinkles on his, wretched, face. Not only did the celestial dragons fail to be rescued successfully, but also many navy soldiers were lost. After a quiet silence for a while, Kazaru seemed to have made an important decision. He took out a golden den den mushi from his arms. Then, he pressed the switch directly. Gotta. Hey, is that true? Was that a golden den den mushi just now? Yes, golden. The pirates watching the excitement from a distance saw Kazaru pressing the den den mushi, and an ominous premonition appeared. The golden den den mushi seemed to have heard of it from somewhere. This is the demon killing order. Run, this island is going to be destroyed. Set sail, set sail quickly. At this time, a pirate recognized the switch pressed by Kazaru and shouted. All the pirates opened their mouths wide and were full of fear when they heard this. Demon killing order, why was such a thing pressed like this? For a while, the island was in chaos. Pirates, kingdom nobles, etc., all rushed to run, and fled with fear on their faces. The demon killing order, which destroys everything where the signal is sent, has appeared twice before, once in Ohara, Nico Robin's hometown, causing the tree of all knowing to be destroyed. Nico Robin was the only living creature on the entire island. One was against Douglas Barrett, the descendant of the devil. Even Barrett, who was as powerful as a monster, was eventually defeated by the endless number of navy soldiers and was eventually imprisoned in the bottom of the Impel Down. The demon killing order was successful twice without any obstacles. As Da Flamingo said, who is justice? The navy is the justice that deserves on this sea, because justice is always determined by the victor. The moment the Golden Den Den Mushi rang, the Navy headquarters also received the order. So, dozens of elite Navy warships quickly gathered at the port, and one team after another of Navy soldiers lined up to board the ship, and then moved forward at the fastest speed. Destination, Sabayati Archipelago. Captain, the Demon Slayer order has been launched. Okay, got it, let's go. This is an important place for the new era pirates to enter the new world. It can't be destroyed by the navy, and pirates should fight on the endless sea. The smiling pirates heard it, quickly gathered together, beat the navy who wanted to continue attacking, and fled in a flash. The speed was so fast that Kazaru and his men were secretly shocked. What a decisive guy. Hey, brother Sha Tien, are you here to lead the ship? The coding has just been completed. Rayleigh, who is completing the coding work on island number 41, saw Sha Tien and his group rushing over, smiled happily, raised his hand and greeted them. Yeah, Uncle Rayleigh, this is the coding wages, we're leaving first, and the Navy's Demon Slayer order may be coming, sorry. Huh, Demon Slayer order. What happened? Rayleigh was confused. It's only been a few days, and he was just coding, and the Demon Slayer order has come out. Hee <laughs> hee, I accidentally beat up a celestial dragon, look. At this time, Ajin released two celestial dragons from the sack behind him, and Rayleigh was dumbfounded. Nowadays, young people are playing so big. It's true that newcomers are better than old ones, and the waves behind push the waves ahead. Uncle Rayleigh, see you later. Sha Tien waved his sleeves, boarded the smile calmly, and then set sail, ready to go directly to the bottom of the sea. 
That won't do. I can't let you escape from my sight, Monkey D. Sha Tien. Swoosh. Sure enough, the speed of light is fast. When Kazaru saw the old man who was talking happily with Sha Tien, a sense of familiarity came to his heart. Pluto Silver Baz Rayleigh. I didn't expect there was such a legendary pirate on this island. Yes, Admiral. Forget it, now is not the time to arrest you Roger's remnants. Shaking his head, Kazaru locked his eyes on the smile again. There was no need to provoke such a strong man during this special period. Only by arresting Sha Tien and saving the Celestial Dragons could he save his lost face. Boom. Several golden rays of light streaked through the sky, directly breaking the coating of the smile. Pa. A crisp sound was heard, and the faces of the smile pirates were embarrassed. Really, one by one, they couldn't let them live normally. Click to go out. Boss, look far away. Sha Tien heard and looked back. The dense navy warships were coming like waves, and the dark gun barrels were deep and powerful. Let's go, leave here. The smile increased its horsepower and left the Sabayati archipelago at the fastest speed. The navy warships behind began to change their formation, trying to surround the smile. Stop. After sailing to a certain distance, Sha Tianxiong asked Noran to stop the smile and quietly waited for the navy that was about to complete the encirclement. Smile pirates, stop resisting. Release the celestial dragons immediately, otherwise all of you will sink into the sea today. On a navy warship, a navy was issuing a serious warning through the loudspeaker, and at this time the navy also completed the encirclement. More than 30 navy warships surrounded the smile like adults beating children. Humph, since you are all looking for death, this god will fulfill your wish. Enel sneered, and then turned into thunder and flew into the sky wanting to give the navy a fatal blow. If what happened last time happens again, I won't be an admiral of the navy, Enelu. Kazaru was on guard against Enelu early on, and the next moment when he flew up, he burst out with all his strength and stopped Enelu in an instant. This time, Kazaru really used 90% of his strength and suppressed Enelu directly in a short time. Under the powerful attack of armed color domineering, Enelu could not launch a big move in a short time. Seeing this scene, the navy cheered excitedly, stirring up waves. Give up. Smile pirates. Really. Ha 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 ha. What are you laughing at? I just remembered something happy. Sha Tien's face was serious, and the corners of his mouth rose slightly, revealing a smile. This change was seen by the navy who were waiting for it. They didn't understand why. Could this guy have a backup plan? Tianxing. Falling star rock. Opening his lips slightly. Sha Tien uttered six words, shielded the sun with his right hand, and looked up at the sky. Who, who, who? Under the scorching sun, a huge whirring sound of breaking wind came from the sky, and a huge shadow covering the sky and the sun enveloped the entire navy fleet. As the distance got closer, the falling object became clearer. What is that? Meteorites, meteorites. And there is more than one, Vice Admiral, what should we do? Is it the ability of the smiling pirates? It's too scary, can humans really do such a thing? Quick, retreat. Get out of the attack range. Not only ordinary navy, even Chatan and Tautu, who are substitutes for the admirals of the navy, are sweating profusely at this moment. If they are on land, there may be a glimmer of hope, but now looking at the seamless fleet formed to surround the smiling pirates, they are desperate. Meteorites falling from the sky, if there are only one or two, there is no threat at all, but... You can only do your best and leave the rest to fate. Boom, boom, boom. The huge star rocks that fell rapidly from the sky covered the entire naval warship with a destructive aura. The extremely high speed caused a terrifying high temperature flame to cover it. The Navy Vice Admirals led by Chatan and Tautu stood in front of the warship, ready for battle. Ohm, bang. Everyone tried their best to destroy all the star rocks, but they overestimated themselves and underestimated the number of star rocks. With just one negligence, a star rock that escaped the net hit a warship heavily. Bang! The huge naval warship was completely hit by the star rocks as soon as it came into contact. At the combination of super high speed and weight, it was directly smashed into pieces and scattered in the sea. The star rocks continued to move forward. After falling into the sea, they set off a huge wave, surging and rushing to hit the surrounding warships. One after another, it seemed that the endless star rocks would eventually wear out the strength of the vice-admiral. 
Except for Chatan and Tautu, the others were already panting, sighing in their hearts, revealing a look of despair. Such an attack was no longer evaluated by ordinary pirates, and to some extent even caught up with the four emperors. Could it be that Monkey D. Sha Tien is also a capable person? A bold guess suddenly appeared in the mind of the navy. After all, this kind of terrifying and destructive attack is not something that ordinary people can do. Only the devil fruit ability users can develop to a certain extent. What type of devil fruit is it? Is it also a natural fruit? The surviving navy who was not smashed into the sea by the star rocks looked at the calm Sha Tien in front of them, and couldn't help trembling in their hearts. The previously invincible Demon Slayer Navy's elite warships were destroyed in this way. Not only that, as the Navy's highest combat power, Admiral Kazaru could suppress the members of the Smiling Pirates, but he couldn't crush them directly. As expected of the Navy elite, they didn't completely wipe them out. Sha Tien curled his lips in dissatisfaction after seeing his own record. He thought he could destroy them all directly. Sure enough, with the existence of high-level combat power, all the endings would be different. Navy. Listen, is this human language? Must we be smashed to death? Vice Admiral Chatton, what should we do next? A Navy colonel asked in a low voice from behind. After Sha Tien's attack just now, the Navy no longer had many warships that could be used normally, and there were even fewer cannons that could be used. Get close, we must hold them back. I have reported the battle situation to Marshal Zhang Guo, and General Aokiji will be here soon, Chatan said solemnly after looking at the ruined battlefield. Now we can only wait for Aokiji to arrive, use the power of the Devil Fruit to directly freeze the sea surface, and engage in close combat, otherwise the navy really has no chance of winning. Agent. Go. Yes, Captain. Agent's eyes flashed with a hint of madness, and he spread his wide wings and flew into the sky. The bright red flames painted the entire sky, and he came to the sky above the navy with the force of thunder. Be careful. Tautu shouted, and then stepped into the air, and used the moon step to jump repeatedly in the air to gradually reach the height where Ajin was. One sword flow, thorn rose. Thrust. A beautiful thorny rose bloomed in the sky, and the next moment the rose exploded, and several sharp slashes attacked in all directions. HMPH. With a cold snort, Agent's figure rose again and flew higher. Underworld fire. Soul devouring. Accompanied by a loud cry, Agent, who had completely transformed into the form of a ghost car, spit out a huge red fireball from his mouth, and fell rapidly from the sky. The terrifying high temperature evaporated the sea water below into a thick fog. Get out of the way. Jump into the sea. Feeling the temperature of the fireball in the sky, Vice Admiral Chatton immediately gave orders. Without any hesitation, he grabbed a Navy man who was good at swimming and then jumped into the sea. After all, as a Devil Fruit user, he might lose his life if he went into the sea. Boom. The bright red flames fell on the remaining warships. The terrifying high temperature even burned the air, making crackling sounds. In just over 10 seconds, all the Navy warships turned into ashes and sank directly into the sea. Puff, cough cough. On the sea, densely packed heads appeared, looking at it with wide eyes, spitting out a mouthful of water, floating with the waves, with despair in their eyes. On the sea, flying is really invincible. Yeah ha 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 ha. Yellow monkey, the Navy has been defeated. Although he was beaten up, Enelu was still very unconvinced. He raised his hand and pointed to the messy battlefield on the sea below, saying with pride. Even if you are stronger than me, so what? I have powerful partners. On the other hand, the navy has already been defeated. Failed. Yellow Monkey was stunned, a little bit unbelievable, so fast. Although the Smile Pirates are indeed very strong, the navy's arrest force is not weak this time, why did they still lose? The smile was surrounded by a quiet and peaceful appearance, and Enelu flashed back to the deck of the smile. The navy warships were all destroyed, and all members of the smile pirates were unharmed. This is a major event that has never happened in the history of the world government. A pirate group of only seven or eight people resisted the navy's demon-killing order. Who would dare to believe it? However, the reality is like this. It is not strange to happen in this sea. Besides, the attacks displayed by Sha Tien and Ajin also completely surpassed ordinary moves. The attack and the specialness of the sea have caused the current result. 
it can be said that if it were on land, perhaps the battle would not end so easily. After all, the Navy's combat power is not vegetarian. Unfortunately, things are unpredictable. The Navy chose to capture Sha Tien on the sea, underestimating the specialness of the devil fruit abilities of the Smile Pirates members and the specialness of Sha Tien. The Demon Slayer Order had not been able to exert its power before it was wiped out. What? All wiped out. In the office of Marshal Marinfort, Sengoku's face was livid. The Demon Slayer Order had failed. When the helpless voice of Kazaru came from Den Den Mushi, Sengoku was stunned. Demon Slayer Order. Even Douglas Barrett, who was so powerful, failed. Now the Smile Pirates, who captured a new member, failed. What a joke. Sengoku slapped the table angrily, and accidentally cracked it. Borsalino, pass the Den Den Mushi to Monkey D. Summer, and tell him that the Navy agreed to his proposal. One hand pays the money, and the other hand safely releases the Celestial Dragons. Our Navy cannot fail again. In the Den Den Mushi, Sengoku seemed to grit his teeth and said, Ten billion baileys, it seems that only the five elders can be informed and let them make the decision. Should the Celestial Dragons be saved or not? Let them worry about this matter. Anyway, if there are too many lice, they are not afraid of itching. At most, they can revoke their own marshal. Bulu Bulu, Bulu Bulu, Gata. Sengoku, you called at this time, did you rescue the St. Rosward family? The cold voice of the five elders came from the other side of the Den Den Mushi, full of dissatisfaction and sarcasm. No, the Demon Slayer order failed, and the pirates need ten billion berries to redeem the people. Sengoku lay flat and handed the result directly to the five elders. What? What are you going to do in the navy? The roar of the five elders sounded, and the whole office was shaking. For half an hour, Zongguo was reprimanded by the five elders, who even said that the navy was useless. Zongguo kept nodding in agreement. After all, Zongguo was indeed in the wrong in this matter. An hour later, the five elders agreed to the decision to exchange ten billion berries for the freedom of the St. Rosward family. So, Zongguo breathed a sigh of relief and, finally his ears were quiet. Adjusting his mood, Zongguo called Kazaru's Den Den Mushi again and ordered Kazaru to give Den Den Mushi to Sha Tien for negotiation. Hey, isn't this Marshal Zongguo? What do you want me to do? Sha Tien smiled happily when he heard Zongguo's voice. Sha Tien and Zongguo started the second negotiation again. Will it end peacefully this time? Humph, I don't have the power to order pirates. And it's a bold guy like you. Hearing Sha Tien's ridicule, Zongguo's forehead was bulging with veins, but he still resisted the impulse. This time, the Demon Slayer order can be said to be a complete failure. The Navy once again underestimated the Thunder Fruit and Sha Tien's ability, especially the level of combat on the sea, and the horror of the natural system was once again displayed in front of the world. Ha 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 ha. Marshal Sengoku is really full of justice. This time he took the initiative to call. Has the Navy or the world government thought it through? Yes, the world government agreed to exchange 10 billion baileys for the lives of the celestial dragons. Before that, we must understand the situation of the celestial dragons. I hope you don't do irrational things. Really. 10 billion baileys, it's really an exciting number, but. But. Sengoku was extremely upset. Why is this guy's personality nothing like Garp, not direct at all? Thinking about it, the shadow of dragon suddenly appeared in Sengoku's mind. He was once an excellent navy, and now the world's most evil criminal. That was the previous price. Now, you have to pay more. Sha Tien, don't push your luck. How can you push your luck? As a qualified pirate, it's reasonable for you to fight for your own interests. Offer your final price. Sha Tien, my patience is limited. Zong Guo's voice was gloomy and heavy, as if he had reached the limit of his patience. Well, I thought about it. I defeated the Shichibukai who maintained the stability of the sea with your navy and the world government, robbed the Tenjojin, and now beat up the celestial dragons. No matter which one of them seems to be unforgivable in the eyes of the world government, and even killed them as soon as possible. Zong Guo. UTM still no. So, in addition to wealth, I also need an identity, an identity recognized by your navy and the world government. What do you mean? I want to become a Shichibukai. Sha Tien's calm voice exploded in Zhang Guo's heart like a thunder. Is this little guy crazy? 
This is equivalent to you beating me up, and I still have to feed you with good food and drink. Protect you. You're kidding, right? Monkey D. Sha Tien. Of course, after all, I don't want to be an enemy of my old man. I became a pirate just to live freely. I am also a righteous person in my heart. Sengoku. Who would believe this fool? Marshal Sengoku, you have to know that when everyone in the world knows that the high-ranking celestial dragons, who claim to be descendants of God, will bleed when injured, will feel pain when beaten, and will die if fatally injured. And those who resist them can live well, what do you think will happen? Not hearing the response he wanted, Sha Tien spoke again. The celestial dragons today are nothing but a bunch of idiots who think they are superior and in control of everything. They are descendants who rely on the evil deeds of their ancestors. When the death of a celestial dragon is left unresolved, it breaks the boundary between zero and one. So what if a few more celestial dragons die? After all, compared to that bunch of idiots, there are more ordinary people in the world. Even if 1,000 is exchanged for one, 10,000 for one, or even 100,000 for one, it is unacceptable to the celestial dragons. When the wave of resistance rises, it cannot be easily extinguished. So, for the sake of world peace and the justice of your navy, it is not too much to exchange a celestial dragon for the position of Shichibukai. After all, you don't want the whole world to know that the celestial dragons were captured and wronged, right, Sengoku? Backquote. The calm and composed voice shocked Sengoku's heart. He turned his head to look at Garp who was eating Senbei diligently. He was silent for a long time, thinking, is such a smart guy really Garp's grandson? Shouldn't he be a simple-minded and reckless man who barely pretends to be wise? This is unscientific. It seems that Sha Tien inherited the intelligence of Dorag. Garp. I always feel that Sengoku looks at me strangely, and I feel a little uneasy. Then I open the Senbei package in my hand as wide as possible and put it directly into my mouth. Then the other way around I emptied the packaging and laughed at Zonguo happily. You want to steal my snacks. Dream on. Zonguo slapped himself on the forehead. Sure enough, I had too high expectations of him. This is still the same. Is this really the last condition? After a long silence, Zonguo finally asked. That's right. I agree. I will recommend you to the world government. Ha ha ha, you are indeed worthy of being Marshal Zonguo. You have a big vision. By the way, please say hello to my old man for me. It won't be long before I can visit him openly. Sha Tien seemed to have thought of something. He smiled happily and said to Zhang Guo. Gotta. After the negotiation, Sha Tien decisively hung up the Den Den Mushi, and then asked a Jin to let the celestial dragon out of the sack to breathe and look at the beautiful and dazzling sunshine. Woo woo woo, woo woo woo. The two celestial dragons were released and tried to open their eyes to see everything in front of them. Finally, they saw Sha Tien's back. Hey, you woke up. You too. Sha Tien heard the movement behind him, turned his head slowly, and showed a, devil, smile. The happy smile was a devil in the eyes of the two celestial dragons. He couldn't help but retreat. They used to be high above and easily controlled the life and death of others. They never thought that one day they would be abused like this. Don't be afraid, don't worry, it will be fine soon. Then, everyone, see you in the new world. Let Huang Yuan and others see that the celestial dragons are safe and sound. Sha Tien came to the bow, intending to say goodbye, and informed the navy of the transaction location. Somewhere in the turbulent sea area in the new world, both the currents and the climate are complex and changeable, and the surrounding islands are full of beasts and strange plants. There is a place that Sha Tien had explored before, and it is also the place where Sha Tien plans to establish a base. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Huang Yuan and others don't understand, see you in the new world. How can a ship without coating sail into the new world? As for seeking the consent of the world government to sail from the Red Earth continent, it is impossible at present. After all, Sha is not a Shichibukai now, and does not have this privilege. Smile, start diving. Ignoring the navy, Smile slowly dived. In the shocked eyes of the navy, Smile emerged from nowhere with a transparent light shield, like a large submarine, diving deep into the seabed. New world. I'm back. Is this the deep sea? So beautiful. Karina's beautiful eyes stared at the deep sea creatures swimming by the smile, and praised happily. Is the new world finally coming? 
It's so exciting. As Enelu got excited, thunder suddenly appeared, and Tuantuan's hair stood up directly, like a fat hedgehog. Enelu. Tuantuan stared at Enelu with a dark face, fierce. Enelu looked back and retracted the lightning into his body. The reason was that not only was Tuantuan Shatian's pet, but also because Enelu had fought with Tuantuan before, and the result was shocking. One man and one panda were evenly matched, and neither could do anything to the other, and this panda was not afraid of his lightning. Tisk, arrogant guy. Tuantuan saw Enelu silently retracting his ability and curled his lips. New world, I heard that there will be many new and strange things. I'm really looking forward to it. Poker licked his tongue, and his black eyes flashed with brilliance. Obviously, the new world in the future will be more lively. Captain Sha Tien, you said you would visit the four emperors' red-haired shanks when you enter the new world. Is that true? Yi Lin seemed to remember something and asked Sha Tien loudly. Really, my stupid brother was once taken care of by him. As a brother, of course I have to visit him. Then can I meet Jesus? Red-haired shanks sniper. Yi Lin was very excited. Jesus was his idol. Although Yi Lin had not been to far seas, he had heard of red-haired shanks a long time ago, especially snipers, Yi Lin was very concerned. The world's top sniper, red-haired pirate sniper Jesus, is a person that many snipers yearn for and surpass. That's right. Oh, long live Sha Tien. Yi Lin jumped excitedly holding the sniper rifle, very happy, finally able to meet the idol he dreamed of seeing. The smile continued to dive and finally reached 10,000 meters deep in the sea. Under the leadership of Norin, the smile pirates broke through the protective shield of Fishman Island and entered the interior of the island. No Fei, let me take you home first. Norin squatted down, wiped the tears from the corners of No Fei's eyes, and said softly. No, don't go back. No Fei shook his cute little head vigorously and refused. His clear eyes looked at Norant with a pleading look, and his pitiful appearance was distressing. But Uncle is going to enter the new world, which is too dangerous. Uncle can't protect you. Although he couldn't bear it, Norant still said cruelly. I don't want to go home. I don't have a home anymore. Old Nuo, what's the situation? If little Nuofe doesn't want to go home, why don't you sail with me? Sha Tien looked for a while found some clues, stood up and came to the side of the two, and said directly. Have you heard of the Sun Pirates? Norant looked around and began to explain. I've heard that the pirate group founded by Fisher Tiger, the hero of Fishman Island, once climbed up to the holy land of Marihoa with bare hands and made a scene, freeing thousands of slave fishmen. Their courage is very admirable. I was also a member of the Sun Pirates, but I was still young at that time, um, about the captain's age now, and Nofei's father, my eldest brother, was also a member of the Sun Pirates, but unfortunately died in a battle before. Norant was depressed and sat on the deck to tell the story of his time in the Sun Pirates. So now Nofei lives alone in such a dangerous place like Fishman Street. How did you become an uncle? After listening to Norante's narration, Karina asked angrily. The current Fishman Street is very chaotic, and some pirates are trying to capture fishmen or mermaids for business and sales. How dare they let a little guy like Nofei live alone? Ah, no, don't be mean to my uncle, I'll just stay in Fishman Island, it's okay. Nofei mustered up the courage to stand in front of Nolan, opened his arms and protected him behind his back. His puffed up little face looked so cute that even Sha Tien wanted to pinch it. It's okay, Nofei, Sister Kalina is angry because she cares about us, Nolan touched Nofei's little head and explained seriously. I'm sorry, Sister Kalina. It's okay, it's okay. Don't cry, Kalina saw that the little guy was about to cry, and hurried over to wipe the tears from the corners of her eyes. Old number, what's the reason? Sha Tien patted Nolan's shoulder and said. Nofei has been weak and sick since he was a child. I once asked Mrs. Sha Li, the fortune teller of Fishman Island, to predict that Nofei can only live to the age of 15. If he wants to change his fate, only the devil fruit can give him a glimmer of hope. The animal type devil fruit has very strong recovery and vitality. So this is why you left Fishman Island and went out to sea alone. Well, but I was too weak. I was caught by the trafficking group not long after I went out to sea. If I hadn't met Captain Sha Tien, I might have been tortured by the celestial dragons until I died. Don't worry, everything is over. 
Old Nuo, take little Nuo Fei with you. It's just an animal type devil fruit. I believe it will be obtained soon. Now we can also find information through the navy. Really? Norant was very excited and said in a trembling voice. Of course, we are partners. As a member of the Smiling Pirates family, I said that your business is everyone's business. Yeah. Little Nuo Fei, come here. Sha Tien smiled and waved at Nuo Fei. Brother Sha Tien, what's the matter? No Fei said weakly. This is a bottle of potion. Drink it and you will be like a normal person. Sha Tien took out a bottle of life potion from the system warehouse, and it automatically appeared in Sha Tien's hand, a small exquisite green glass bottle. Really? After drinking it, I can be like other children. Yeah, believe my brother. Okay. Nofei looked up at Norin, saw him nodded, and then drank the life potion in one gulp. Captain Sha Tien. What is this? Norant pulled Sha Tien's sleeve, but still couldn't help it. Although he knew that Sha Tien couldn't hurt Nuo Fei, he was worried and wanted to know the effect of the life potion. It can restore vitality, but it is only a temporary solution. Maybe it can only be completely cured by relying on the ability of the animal type devil fruit. Thank you, brother Sha Tien, uncle, I feel much better now, and my body is full of strength, look. Quote. After drinking the potion, Nuo Fei's face regained its rosy color. He subconsciously clenched his fists and found that he had a lot more strength. Then he happily reported the good news to Norant. Let's go, let's go to the new world together. Since Nuo Fei was allowed to stay on the ship, there was no need to stay on Fishman Island. Now it was most important to reach a deal with the navy. After all, the seven warlords of the sea were the first step in the summer plan. Two days later, in the new world, deep in the sea of chaos, the smile began to rise slowly. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. The bubbles on the sea surface continued to increase, and a huge black shadow suddenly appeared from the bottom of the sea, raising a huge wave, rolling to both sides, stirring up waves. Huh, we're finally out, the air is so good. The smile pirates looked up at the clear sky and exhaled heavily, all showing happy smiles. From Fishman Island to this sea area with unpredictable weather and waves, the smile has been sneaking forward on the seabed, because only in this way can it enter this violent sea area more quickly and safely. The Sea of Chaos, this is the sea area named by Sha Tien. Three years ago, Sha Tien happened to pass by this place when he was performing a mission as a revolutionary army. At that time, it became the reserve territory in Sha Tien's plan. The changeable and violent environment of the sea area is a natural protective barrier. Of course, what made Sha Tien determined was the reward he had received, a pet egg. It had not been revealed what kind of creature it was before. After Sha Tien entered the Fishman Island, the hatching degree of the eggs in the backpack suddenly increased rapidly, and soon reached 100%. Finally, the eggs broke out of the shell, and Sha Tien also knew what kind of creature it was. The ancient beast Shangliu, weakened version, has 1% of the blood of the beast. Shangliu. It is said to have a snake body, nine heads, and a human face, and is thousands of feet long. Each head is extremely ferocious, and there are two huge fangs in the mouth, which can spray venom as fierce as a flood. The venom is extremely smelly. Wherever it falls, nothing will grow, and it will become a poisonous place. So, Sha Tien had the plan to let the little Shangliu guard the Sea of Rage. Although it is very small now and is not a real ancient beast, it is known from the simple introduction of the system that the little Shangliu is still very terrifying. The adult Shangliu, weakened version, is also about 10,000 meters long. With the innate ability to control water and venom, it is definitely a good helper to guard the house. E.H. Boss, what is this? It's so small, and it has nine heads. Finally, Tuantuan noticed the little Shangliu wrapped around Sha Tien's wrist, and brought his big round head closer, asking with a curious look. Little Shangliu, a new member of the Smiling Pirates, and the guardian beast of our territory in the future. That one. Tuantuan's eyes turned black, and he said with great suspicion. It's too small, not even enough to fill the gaps between teeth, what can it do? Is it so cute that it kills the enemy? That one, get along well or you'll cry in the future, Sha Tien rolled his eyes at this guy and rubbed Tuantuan's head fiercely. Oh, I know, boss. The smiling pirates heard the discussion between Sha Tien and Tuantuan and came over one after another, 
looking at the little Xiongliu on Sha Tian's arm with curiosity. In the New World, the world government announced the latest appointment of the seven warlords of the sea, an unexpected but reasonable person, the captain of the smiling pirates, Monkey D. Sha Tian, nicknamed Tyrant Sha Tian. A pirate with a bounty of 500 million berries, as for why he robbed the celestial dragons without raising the bounty, of course the world government wanted to hide such a shameful thing forever. Bulu Bulu. Captain Sha Tian, the appointment of the seven warlords of the sea has spread all over the world, and the 10 billion berries have also arrived at the designated sea area as agreed, and the safety of the celestial dragons must be guaranteed intact. The voice of the navy sounded in the Den Den Mushi, with a tone of anger and unwillingness. Oh, the navy is really fast, we will be there soon. Hearing this, Sha Tien laughed happily, it seems that becoming the seven warlords of the sea has been successful. The seven warlords of the sea, in this world, can be said to be people who can mix with both black and white, and many things are very convenient to do. On a lush island outside the Sea of Riot, the smiling pirates slowly approached, and in front of them, two navy warships were waiting early. Hey, isn't this Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel? Sassy ignored Dana. Sha Tien took a closer look and found that it was an old acquaintance, Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel, who still had a mohawk hairstyle, and his dark purple long hair was tied behind his head, forming a bun, with a distinct personality. Humph, I don't have the time and patience to reminisce with pirates. The ship behind me is worth 10 billion baileys of gold, and what about the world's nobles? Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel frowned and snorted expressionlessly. As a righteous Vice Admiral of the Navy, he naturally didn't have a good impression of pirates. Really cold, Sha Tien shook his head, and then waved his hand. Ajin dragged two celestial dragons out from behind. At this time, the celestial dragons were starving, and they hadn't eaten for several days. Their eye sockets were sunken, and their expressions were even a little dazed. They looked at Sha Tien and others with fearful expressions. The life these days was really not what the high-ranking Tianlong people had experienced, not even what humans had experienced. In the pitch-black hut, there was silence. Whoever stays will be numb. Tuanzi, Yi Lin, you two go and take a look. Hee hee, okay, boss. Tuanzi and Yilin agreed in unison. Half an hour later, the transaction went very smoothly. The navy began to retreat after picking up the celestial dragons. The warships quickly left the sea area. Especially the navy who witnessed the terrifying combat power of the smile pirates did not want to stay for a moment, fearing that they would be killed by these lunatics. Whitebeard pirates, Moby Dick. Seven warlords of the sea. Tyrant Summer. Isn't this the new pirate who has been popular recently? He has become one of the seven warlords of the sea. Phoenix Marco muttered to himself, holding the latest newspaper in his hand. Marco, we need to pay attention to this person. Vista, you're back. Marco heard the voice behind him and showed joy on his face. Well, this young man is not simple, if you know what he has done recently. Next, Vista described in detail what he saw and heard in the Sabayati archipelago. What? Not only did he beat up the celestial dragons. He also destroyed the navy's demon slayer order with the power of seven or eight people. Are you sure? Marco was shocked. He thought he was just a rookie pirate with good talent, but he didn't expect that he could actually resist the demon slayer order. What kind of concept is this? Even Barrett didn't do it back then. The crew has a natural thunder fruit and a kind of mythical beast bird fruit. The captain's fruit is unknown, but it is suspected to be a natural fruit, Vista continued. He saw Sha Tien using his skill to summon the Star Rock to destroy the Navy warship. Like ordinary people, he subconsciously classified Sha Tien as a devil fruit ability user. After all, normal people can't have that kind of power to destroy the world. Marco, what are you discussing? This is Whitebeard Newgate who came behind the two of them at some point and asked. Dad, this is the Navy's latest appointed Shichibukai. Vista said he is suspected to have the strength of an admiral. Monkey D. Summer. If I remember correctly, this is the grandson of old man Garp. Newgate seemed to remember something happy and laughed at the newspaper. Yes. What a pity, he became one of the seven warlords of the sea. I wanted to invite this little guy to the new world, Whitebeard said with some regret, shaking his head. Dressrosa, the open-air balcony of the Highland Palace. 
On the recliner, a man with golden hair, sunglasses, a pink feather coat and cropped pants was sitting with his legs crossed, reading today's newspaper carefully. When he saw Sha Tien, he sat up suddenly. Seven warlords of the sea. Ha 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 ha. It's getting more and more interesting. In this world, the D clan has reappeared. Somewhere in the new world, in the dark sea, as eerie and terrifying as a ghost den, an angry voice sounded from a huge island-sized pirate ship. Sha Tien. I will definitely take revenge. Moria angrily tore up the newspaper in his hand, then looked at the rows of corpses in front of him that had lost their life characteristics, and showed a weird smile. These were all once famous strong men, and now Moria used all means to exchange them for his collection library. Moria believed that as long as he continued to collect the corpses of strong men, he could create an invincible shadow army. In the kingdom of Alabasta, in an endless desert, Crocodile was smoking a cigar and reading a newspaper. When he saw Sha Tien's smiling face, his mood suddenly darkened. It was this guy who caused his plan to change. Otherwise, according to normal means, Crocodile would soon appear as a hero who saved the country, and even get the specific information of Pluto. Miss. All Sunday, let's go to the next place. Crocodile looked back at Nico Robin and said lightly. I thought that it was most important to continue planning the information of Pluto, and I would talk about revenge on Sha Tien later. After all, it is never too late for a gentleman to take revenge. Hmm. At this moment, Nico Robin had just reached an agreement with Crocodile and joined the Baroque works. Her healthy and energetic wheat-colored skin was proof that she had been running away for many years. After all, O'Hara was wiped out by the world government, and no one dared to take her in, except for an ambitious person like Crocodile. On the Smile Pirate ship, Sha Tien looked at the latest updated products in the system store in his mind and fell into crazy contemplation. System, are you controlling all the products in the store? Ding, it's not, this system is absolutely fair and just. Tisk, who would believe it? I just became a seven warlords of the sea, and the store refreshed the building products such as the group Jade Pavilion. Sha Tien saw the group Jade Pavilion in the store, which was sold for five billion berries, and couldn't help complaining in his heart. He doubted whether this system was made by Tencent. It couldn't take off without Krypton Gold. I, Sha Tien, would sleep on the street today and would never look at the Jade Pavilion. Even Jesus can't do that. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully purchasing the Jade Pavilion customized version. Please choose a suitable construction site. Forget it, I'll buy one for the sake of the Smile Pirates. After all, it would take too long to start from scratch, and Sha Tien doesn't want to wait. It took an hour to design the Jade Pavilion's defense, interior, attack, self-destruction, training ground, dormitory and other areas. Sha Tien then placed the Jade Pavilion in the middle of the Sea of Riot. Let's go, let's visit the place where we will settle in the new world in the future. Smile, start the aviation mode. Enelu, charge up. Enelu. You're using me as a power bank. Enelu looked at Sha Tien with a face full of resentment, and reluctantly activated the power of the thunder fruit to start charging. The smile glowed with a faint light and quickly climbed up, higher and higher, until it was about 3,000 meters above sea level. Everyone saw a huge sky-high building in front of them, with mountains and peaks. Since it was designed by himself, Sha Tien chose the beautiful and dazzling Chinese red, which was extremely bright at first glance. It's so big, boss, is this where we will live in the future? Tuan Tuan happily turned in circles and ran around excitedly, touching here and looking there, just like Lu Lao Lao entering the Grand View Garden, and was very curious about everything. Yeah, how is it? Do you like it? I like it. Asterisk 7. Everyone agreed in unison. The environment here is so good. In addition to the wide variety of buildings, the huge green water and green mountain pool on the central platform is also very beautifully designed, especially there are many beautiful fish in the pool that have never been seen before. The surrounding trees are lush, and tall and upright bamboos stand tall on one side of the jade pavilion. A leisure tea house under the shade is simple and direct. In short, all members of the smiling pirates like this home very much. In the next week, the smiling pirates adapted to the current living environment. Xiao Shangliu was thrown into the sea by Sha Tien, and he was allowed to grow by catching fish. In just one week, his body was a hundred meters long, which was terrifying. 
One of the transmission anchors for the lottery was installed by Sha Tien in the central square, and all members were authorized to use it. The other one was placed by Sha Tien in the middle of the island on the sea just below the Jade Pavilion. In the future, this small island will be the residence of ordinary pirates. It can be said that Sha Tien, the new seven warlords of the sea, also has his own territory. In addition, Sha Tien plans to use the current's reputation, began to recruit troops and expand the number of affiliated personnel of the pirate group, so that the smiling pirates had a real force that shocked the world. That night, the moon was bright and the stars were sparse. Sha Tien looked up at the sky on the top of the Qunyu Pavilion, and the system page appeared in his mind. System, I want to draw a lottery. Let's do a simple 10 draw first. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a Navy 6 style upgrade card, asterisk 5. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the animal hedgehog fruit. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the electromagnetic gun design. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the skill upgrade card, asterisk 3. Come again. Sha Tien didn't get what he wanted, so he waved his hand and continued to draw. Anyway, he had money now. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the special skill, Epiphany. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining 1 million berries, asterisk 3. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the skill of hitting the target with every shot. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining firearms 1000 inches asterisk 5. Come again. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a battleship 1 inch asterisk 3. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a cannon 10 inches asterisk 5. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining matching shells 1000 inches asterisk 2. Sha Tien was very depressed. This luck was simply unbearable. There was no powerful ability at all. All of them were ordinary items. It seemed that they could only be used after the army was established in the later stage. As for the legion commander, Sha Tien had already made up his mind and let a jin take the position. Compared with Enel's free and easy character, a jin's silent and serious temperament was more suitable for managing the army. Especially since Sha Tien wanted to build a strong army with strict words and deeds, he needed a dedicated person to cooperate with him. Three days later, Akin, Hawk, Kalina, and Nofei stayed at home, using their recent power to recruit and select suitable personnel to join and expand the power of the Smile Pirates. The other personnel followed Sha Tien to continue sailing. Destination, the Four Emperor's Pirates Seas. The Smile set sail again. After briefly explaining the mission, Sha Tien led Enelu and the others out of the Sea of Riot and continued to move forward. On the way, Sha Tien used all the upgrade cards he got from the lottery. For a moment, Sha Tien felt a shock in his body, and his body was full of strength. He moved his hands and feet and felt that he was more proficient in the application of the Navy Six styles. If he continued to strengthen, he could even change the situation where whoever uses the iron block will be useless. After all, as long as I am strong enough, you can't hurt me. I remember getting an epiphany ability. I don't know what the effect is. Sha Tien looked at the epiphany skill on the system panel, clicked it lightly, and a mysterious breath burst out from his body, and it became stronger and stronger. With the smile as the center, there were lightning and thunder in the sky, and the thick clouds were pushed to both sides by the middle. The originally calm sea surface suddenly howled with a strong wind. Enelu and Tuantuan, who were practicing and fishing, noticed the changes in Sha Tien at the bow and looked up together. Heroic hockey. So strong. Enelu looked at Sha Tien with a lazy look, and he couldn't help trembling in his heart. He thought back to the time when the two of them fought, and they didn't have this feeling. It is obvious that Sha Tien has become stronger, especially in terms of hockey, even surpassing several levels. Boss is awesome. Long live the boss. Tuantuan felt the terrifying breath bursting out of Sha Tien, and was happy from the bottom of his heart, jumping and cheering. For a whole hour, Sha Tien sat cross-legged on the bow of the smile and quietly realized that wherever the smile sailed, the clouds above the sky would split to form a straight dividing line. During this period, a sea king jumped out of the sea, opened its bloody mouth and wanted to attack everyone on the smile but was directly stunned by the hockey, and finally became food salvaged by the pirate group and served on the table. Huh, cool. 
Sha Tian's epiphany was complete, and he opened his eyes. His black pupils looked sharper and deeper, and his red and black domineering aura flashed like thunder. If someone looked closely, they would find that Sha Tian's eyes were like a vortex-shaped beauty contact lens at this moment. Looking at each other for a long time could be fascinating and uncontrollable. Sha Tian opened the system panel and was overjoyed. With an epiphany, his domineering aura actually achieved a qualitative leap, and he could use hardening, winding and externalization freely. If he met Grandpa Garp again, his fists would definitely not hurt in a simple domineering competition. Although until now, Sha Tien did not know how strong his grandfather's domineering aura was, it was terrifying anyway. After all, Sha Tien's use of domineering aura has not reached the top level yet, and it is still far behind the four emperors. No matter how fancy the skills are, they cannot break the defense and are just flowery. The old man was able to force the pirate King Roger into a desperate situation several times. It is conceivable that the domineering is strong. After all, none of the members of Roger's pirate group have the ability of devil fruit, and they are all top-level strongmen who show their strength with domineering. It would be nice to have another epiphany. If it happens again, maybe I can master the threshold of internal destruction level domineering. Sha Tien thought eagerly in his heart. In addition to the ordinary armed color domineering, the domineering color domineering should also strengthen daily training and use. After all, the entanglement of domineering color domineering and internal destruction are the way to reach the top. Hundred Grants, teacher Kaido once said that domineering is the existence that transcends everything. If the domineering can be infinitely improved, perhaps the One Piece version of Suzano in the Naruto world can be developed. Just like the movie version of Kong Ming, the domineering shape can be given to form a martial god who can attack and defend. As long as the domineering is strong enough, even a domineering martial god of several hundred meters can be created. At that time, it seems that it can really be invincible. Whether it is a natural devil fruit ability user or a mythical beast or superhuman system, it cannot pose a threat. Boss. Boss, we're here. Seeing Sha Tien grinning at the bow, Tuantuan touched his head and spoke. Oh, I see, Sha Tien's face straightened, and he quickly swallowed his drooling and put his floating thoughts back. It's better to be down to earth at the moment. The smile continued to sail, and after a while, it finally docked at the coast. As soon as it got off the boat, it was surrounded. Hey, kid, do you know whose territory this is? A tall and burly man with dark skin and red freedom-like hairstyle came out, looked at Sha Tien and said arrogantly. Dark purple colorful clothes, double-breasted coat, open chest, with a green-handled saber hanging on his right shoulder. Sha Tien raised his head slightly and looked at the man in front of him, Rockstar, whose name has one more word than rocks, but his strength is average, and he is the captain of the Red Hair Shanks Pirates. I know. Where is Red Hair? Sha Tien said calmly. I know. Rockstar's tone rose, and his unruly hairstyle became more explosive. Joining the Red Hair Pirates made him burst with confidence. He was not afraid of anyone, even when delivering a letter to Whitebeard. This reminded Sha Tien of the words of the blue fat man Jinbei and Brook, who were just four emperors. This is the territory of the four emperors' red hair shanks. Is it possible for a kid like you to meet the red hair captain whenever you want? Get out of the way. Sha Tien stopped talking and strode forward, walking directly in front of Rockstar, ignoring his livid face. You. Crack. Before Rockstar finished speaking, Enelu picked his ears and pointed lightly. A bolt of lightning fell from the sky and hit him directly on the top of his head. A puff of black smoke floated up, and Rockstar fell straight to the ground. Enelu, we are here to visit, be polite. Okay, Captain. In front of outsiders, Enelu gave Sha Tien a lot of face and released the ability of the thunder fruit, and the dark clouds in the sky instantly dissipated. Sha Tien and his companions continued to walk forward, and came to a beach, looking at red-haired Shanks who was having a banquet. Oh, isn't this the super rookie monkey D? Sha Tien who has been making a lot of noise recently. Why are you planning to challenge me just after taking office as a seven warlords of the sea? Kid, my bounty is not easy to get. Red hair sat up straight and touched the sword at his waist. With this action, the other cadres of the red hair pirates stopped playing and looked over, and the atmosphere became tense for a while. No, 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 I'm not here to fight. 
Although some unpleasant things happened when I went to the island, I'm here to visit you, red-haired Shanks. Facing the serious atmosphere of the red hair pirates, Sha Tien pretended not to see it, sat down on the beach, waved his hand and said. Visit me. Quote. Well, I want to see what kind of charm the person that my stupid little brother always talks about is, and by the way, I want to thank him for taking care of me during that time. Brother. Monkey D. Are you Luffy's brother? Shanks thought about it and showed a surprised expression. The rest of the red hair pirates also relaxed their vigilance. Yes. Luffy, it's been a long time since we last met. Shanks looked up at the sky with a look of nostalgia. However, even if he is Luffy's brother, it is unforgivable for him to come to the island and hurt me. So. So, we must have a drink, ha 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 ha. Shanks laughed loudly. Since it was a misunderstanding, there was nothing that couldn't be solved by a banquet. When the Roger Pirates and the Whitebeard Pirates fought for three days and three nights, didn't they still gather together for a banquet in the end? Hey guys, let's have a banquet. Red Hair Shanks shouted. Oh, let's have a banquet. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.